Today, we rebuild all 32 NFL teams in one video. And if I don't win at least three Super Bowls, I have to give away a lot of money. But so this video isn't like seven hours long. Each rebuild is gonna be a mini four minute speed rebuild. And I guess we can just go in alphabetical order, which means we start with the Bears. This video 100% is gonna end up as the longest video ever uploaded to the channel. So it would mean a lot to me if you guys could drop a quick thumbs up on the video if you haven't. See if we can get to like 10,000 likes and make sure you're subscribed, trying to hit a million by the end of the year would mean a ton. And yeah, first team, the Bears. Very simple, guys. Obviously, this isn't going to be super realistic. Just meant to be fun, but as always, the mini speed rebuilds all unedited, so it's literally four minutes of me trading for different pieces, for different players, for each of your favorite teams. But like, can I really win three Super Bowls? The good thing is, like, I have to end up rebuilding like the Chiefs and Bucks, so like, they should be at least a good shot to make it to the Super Bowl. Like, I think I should be able to squeeze out three at least. And that brings me to my next point. If I don't win three Super Bowls throughout today's video. The forfeit is once again a copy of Madden 22 to one of you guys that are subscribed in the comment section below. Literally, you can just comment whatever you want to, like even comment like what's your favorite flavor of pickle. And I'll just pick somebody at random and give you a copy of Madden 22. But hopefully don't have to do that, but I can't make any guarantees, bro, because we all know Madden simulation sucks. With that said, boys, can we make it one for one with the Bears? Can we win a Super Bowl to start things off? Timer's going, man. Timer's going. I don't even really know who the Bears need so they need, they need a right guard so let's do that for starters actually first of all in four minutes i'm gonna stress out so much in today's video we don't need andy dalton or nick Foles. there's got to be some team out there that has green interest hopefully one of these guys there's got to be one team it there's not one team that's so unfortunate all right texans what you got for offensive linemen we need a right guard who you have marcus cannon like he's got to be better than who i have so let's get marcus cannon and also, what's another, like, do they have an old player I can get? Dude, I'm finessing as much as I can. I can throw in draft. I, I'm going to do everything possible, bro. Like, uh, Desmond King, are you hard to get, bro? Desmond King, I, I'm just I'm just throwing things out there. I'm just I'm just looking here. Like, so we, we're already a, a minute in. But can we get, like, three players for one? I'm going to have to, like, use so many different strategies today. Third round pick added. Okay. So, like, I, I just need to get rid of these picks regardless. So, Andy Dalton two-thirds and we already have three players like i really don't know if it, like uh, i think marcus cannon will obviously start now we need a right tackle apparently all right so i didn't know that we still have nick Foles that we can for sure trade away we'll have to get a backup quarterback i think i'm gonna allow myself two free agents to also sign at the end of the four minutes that's gonna be part of the rebuild i i hopefully not pick the same free agents over and over again i probably will end up trading for a lot of the same players but there's like 32 teams bro there's only a certain amount of players i can trade for i just waited 30 seconds bro that, that, that should not have done that. Okay, why do my Titans want Nick Foles? That's weird. Right tackle. All right, I'm just going to go and sort by right tackle and see, like, somebody that stands out. And then, at that point, see if that team is interested in them. Like, somebody... Brian Bulaga. Oh, 100%. Let's get Brian. New starting right tackle. Well, I knew that was going to go through. Now, we do, do need a middle linebacker, they say. And I guess we can start just trying to trade away draft picks because, like, I don't need to really worry about like finding players that i can use in deals right now because i need to use the draft picks eventually i don't need them to be wasted in today's video fred warner just signed a massive contract the day i'm recording this or math he re-signed a contract or like got extension i don't know i'm trying to get players here dante hightower could be a good shout as well for middle linebacker who we even have there don't want to waste too much time we have, I mean, he's just playing back. All right, I mean, I guess they both play. They run a 3-4. Roquan Smith and Dante Hightower is actually a pretty sick combo. Now, running back, we probably, we have so many running backs. What the heck? Tariq Cohen? They don't want Tariq Cohen. Do they want Damian Williams? We don't need him for anything. It was accepted straight up. Okay, so we still have draft picks to use. So, like, I, the first player I just thought about this top of my head, like, I know that we don't need a wide receiver, but, like, it's all about getting, okay, he's on the Titans now. I forgot. Can you, I don't know, though. Is he going to be easy to get on the Titans? He's under, he's under the same contract. So if we threw in a second round draft pick for Julio Jones. That's obviously, I'm wearing his jersey backwards, dude. I didn't even mention that. Like, you guys like that? Actually, that trade's declined. We're going to pause the timer really quick because I need to talk about my balls. I would like to give a massive shout out to Manscaped.com for sponsoring today's video. The global brand for men's grooming and hygiene. God dang two dudes, I love these shirts. You guys know I love Manscaped because they offer the best tools and solutions for the big three odor zones, your body, butt, 
and balls. Mainscape just launched their Lawnmower 4.0 waterproof electric trimmer, and now you can get the ultimate Manscaped experience when you purchase their new Performance Package 4.0 bundle. Just look how beautiful this box is. I already took out the Lawnmower 4.0. Look at it. How slick. With the beautiful Performance Package 4.0 bundle, you'll never have to worry about a complicated multi-step grooming regimen. This is an all-in-one kit that includes all the tools to perfect your grooming experience. From your morning shower to your late night be ready for anything moments. To start, I do my grooming in the shower with the new Lawnmower 4.0 waterproof cordless trimmer. You can tackle your groin grooming confidently without any mess. I love the LED light. I'm gonna turn it on for a second. Trust me dudes, from experience, this light comes in handy when trying to groom. The Lawnmower 4.0 has these replaceable ceramic blades with skin safe technology and a built in LED light to help you trim with confidence. And here we have the Lawnmower 4.0 wireless charging dock. You take it simple as you like. With the cool new wireless charging system and a new travel lock feature, you just have to upgrade your trimmer game. Then after you shower, be sure to apply the Manscaped Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant. You know, I was actually put a little bit of this crop preserver on my hand. You know, go ahead, moisten up the hands. <laughs> no, dudes, I'm not gonna show you putting this on my balls right now. The Crop Preserver is a quick absorbing, clear dry moisturizer lotion for all day protection. And then for that midday refresher, you gotta be sure to pack your Crop Reviver Ball Toner Spray with cooling aloe vera and anti-inflammatory properties. Actually gonna put a little bit on my hand right now. Couple little squirts. Once again, gonna rub that bad boy in. But guys, trust me your balls will thank you. And Manscaped is just so much more than a ball trimmer company. The new Performance Package 4.0 bundle now includes their new Weed Whacker Nose and Ear Trimmer. This thing right here is an absolute game changer. Don't sleep on cleaning up those nose hairs and avoid painful alternatives like plucking and waxing. Trust me, pulling out nose hairs is more painful than nicking your balls. When you opt in for the full Performance Package 4.0 kit, you get the biggest bang for your buck. You can enroll in their peak hygiene plan and get ongoing replenishments of your favorite products delivered straight to your door hassle free for a limited time you can get not one but two free gifts the shed travel bag and the manscaped anti-chafing boxer briefs as go get hooked up right now your balls will thank you and you can do this by going to manscaped.com today and get 20 percent off plus free international shipping plus two free gifts when you use promo code rbt at checkout join the manscaped movement today your balls in your body. Well, thank you. Resuming, minute left to go. It's probably gonna, like, do I just go ahead and trade away like a second from next year? We have 57 seconds to go. Trade still declined. I mean, now I'll throw in a fifth from this year. This is when I get too cute when I don't need to. I can just trade away the first round draft pick from next year. Keep the first from this year. And with that said, Julio Jones, now a member of the Chicago Bears. 45 seconds to go. Who's a superstar player I can look to get? I mean, Harrison Smith. I mean, I would take you. I, is he a second from next year good enough to get Harrison? Not quite. I, I We got 30 seconds. Let's at least get one more deal to be accepted. Let's get, oh, Vaughn Miller. Welcome to the squad. Actually, he wasn't, but I mean, we have 20 seconds. Like, I know this is overpaying, bro, but like, I had 19 seconds. Like, what do you want me to do? I can't create time. 15 seconds. Can we get one more trade to be accepted? Literally, just do whatever. JJ Watt's a good one. 10 seconds to go, JJ. Fifth, second, and fourth. That's probably not going to be enough, is it? It's, it's not enough. We have four seconds. Throwing a running back really quick. Tariq Cohen submitted through, and it was declined. But I still think we did good in four minutes. So yeah, some of the trades were random, but I still think they made the team better. But I got offense now. We're an 81 overall. I mean, Justin Fields really all depends. I'm actually going to give him superstar ability before I end up simming the season because I think he needs at least superstar. I think that's a little underrated, Justin Fields. A new running back, new wide receiver. Offensive line is pretty stacked. And the new right guard. Actually, I need to go ahead and generate best lineup. That should actually increase the overall a little bit. Actually, didn't. Why is Marcus Cannon not playing? I'm, oh, he's injured. God dang it. I forgot to turn injuries off. Pre-existing injuries, that is. So that's a stinker. We'll fix that moving forward. But this still, the offense is sick. I'll actually sign a right guard to make up for that. But defense is loaded now, dude. So to make up for it, we're going to actually sign David DeCastro out of free agency to play right guard. And we'll allow ourselves one more free agent. And we'll actually see if there's a middle linebacker because I noticed it also considered Dante Hightower as an opt-out. So like he was injured for the whole entire year. So to make up for that, since Dante's not going to play, I'll make sure I fix that for the second team we rebuild today. 
but we're gonna sign Avery Williamson, even though he's a lower overall. That's just my mistake. And for all these, we're just gonna simulate directly to the Super Bowl. And also, too, the rosters you see in today's video, I think, were last updated at the end of June. I would have got the most up-to-date rosters, but as always, the Madden Community File tab is not loading. Always kicks me out. We didn't make it to the Super Bowl. It is, oh, you've got to be kidding me. We actually did. I normally spend 15 minutes plus getting teams ready in speed rebuilds and don't even get close to this. In my first four minute speed rebuild today, we make it against the Browns. Now the Browns always are OP in simulations. They're probably going to win this, but if we actually go one for one, what a perfect start. This won't happen often. This will not happen often in today's video. Might be the only Super Bowl we make it to in today's video. With that said, don't be a stinker. We actually went one for one, my dudes. Oh my god. You've got to be kidding me. Desmond King was the Super Bowl MVP. That is awesome bro that is awesome on the team number two cincinnati Bengals. i literally have no shot here but we're gonna give this our, our highest rated players an 89 i need to like spend every moment i have concentrating here like i don't even know who we have we can trade away from the get-go like what do, what do we need right tackle we have no tight end oh this team is not gonna be easy to rebuild oh god i'm already stressing out this team is so thin everywhere dude okay maybe eli apple maybe we can trade you away maybe darius phillips one of these guys somebody okay anybody have green interest in one of these two fellas everything's yellow green i saw the color green and that is the pittsburgh steelers who are you gonna give me you gonna give me i mean at this point like do i just do i even go for need or I just pick the best team possible like uh, cameron hayward can i get cameron hayward for eli apple decline but i think we have potential we, we, oh, we, we it's been a minute already bros just waste our draft picks get them out of here get the draft picks out of here Let's do a fourth from next year too cameron hayward decline that's just so unfortunate this one should be accepted it is have ourselves our first freaking player. Now, go back to the other corner that I'm willing to trade away. Because we have, I mean, that, that we'll be fine. We'll be fine there. We need, we need uh, definitely to focus on other positions. Now, is there going to be any green interest for him? Is it the same team? Is it still the, wait, Steelers? Okay, well, who else can we get from the Steelers then? Dang. Juju? Like, do I try to get Juju? Or do I go, let's go for a two for one. Because we don't have a tight end, a good tight end. We don't have a good defensive tackle. So let's just go, um, oh, heck, maybe we could add Joe, I'm just curious, I'm just really curious here. Okay, hold the phone for a second, bros, because what if I did this? Like, what if I threw in some draft picks to get, like, that, that's good bang for our buck right there, I think, dudes. We also throw in a second from next year? Is this going to be accepted, boys? I'll take that. We're literally, we're uh, rebuilding the Bengals into the Pittsburgh Steelers. So on to the next one. So, I, let's just, our, our, we need was right tackle. Let's just focus on offensive line because I know for sure offensive line's off. Our skill positions are fine. We need to find a, I'll try my best not to trade for the same guys back to back, but it's just going to happen eventually that I'll trade for the same guys. So, like, just, just keep that in mind. Lane Johnson, we have a minute and 45 seconds to go. Like, I, I literally have no clue what to send in here. So, like, this might be way overpaying, but screw it at this point. I mean, not quite. So, we throw in a six, and maybe the seventh will be enough. Lane Johnson, let's welcome ourselves in. Nobody yet, because they declined it. Fifth round draft pick, and then a six from next year. This should be enough. We need to hurry up. We have a minute and 20 seconds left to go. I still get to sign two free agents afterwards. Now, what else? What else do we do here? We need the other offensive lineman positions. We need, we need guards, really. The whole entire... This is why Joe Burrow got hurt last year, bro. He got sacked so many times because the offensive line is so bad. Andrew Norwell, you look good. We have a minute. We can't be picky here. So, I don't want to do what I think I'm going to have to do. I don't want to trade away a first-round draft pick for Andrew Norwell. But, bro, at this point, like, what am I... What else am I supposed to trade away? Freaking Samaj P. Ryan? Like, there's just not... There's no shot. How about a quarterback position? That we don't have anybody there either. I I, ha I have to trade a first round pick for Andrew Norwell. Like I got I got like I just I just got to. I gotta save time. I'll do a first round draft pick from next year, but like we have 40 seconds left. Like I know that seems silly, but like we need offensive linemen. We also do need a right guard. We have 30 seconds to get one. 
Who's somebody? I have the number one overall pick to send here, potentially. Shaq Mason? We have... I can't be picky. Can't be picky. Kevin's... Or Brandon. I want Brandon. 15 mil a year. We have the cap. I'm going to have to trade the weight. Number one overall pick away from him. I know it's silly, but we need him. I probably... I should have done that. I could have got more. I got to remember that. I got to get tactics, like, drawn up here. Oh, I should have got... I probably could have got somebody else added in the deal. Like, Adam Humphrey. He's like, do I just do this just to try to get somebody else? We have seven seconds. Like, I don't know what to do. It was accepted. We got Adam Humphreys, but that's... That's it. That's our team. I don't think we did a horrible job. I do need to sign my two free agents, and I might just go, like, best two. Like, who really could help out our defense? We did have a pretty weak front seven. So how about a linebacker? Add KJ Wright to the squad. Next, let's just let's go ahead and add Melvin Ingram on the other side as well. Didn't they lose Carlos Dunlap this offseason? Let's let's see if we can make it to the Super Bowl with this team. Not this time around. It's Chiefs Seahawks. How did we do at least? We only won nine games. Bro, I can't let Bill's Mafia down. If I do, I'll probably lose a hundred thousand subs. Like, what do we even need? Let's focus once again. I know it's boring. Focus on offensive linemen. Just get the easy positions out first. Literally just add in whoever. I'll go the other way. Maybe Roger Saffold. Like you'll be solid for my Tennessee Titans. Let's just, I mean, we should be able to throw, like, I don't need to be picky. Don't waste time. I'm sure I'll learn strategies throughout today's, I have to burp. I'll learn strategies throughout today's video. That one worked. So now, let's just rock around and get ourselves a right guard. But I don't know what right guard to get, though. Which one is a good fit? Maybe, oh, we got him last time. We'll, we'll get Kevin Zietler this time around for Buffalo. Who do we even have at guard? We have this guy, and we have Cody Ford. Wait, didn't I just get a left guard? What? Okay, I oh, forgot. They disappeared. I forgot. That just broke my brain, bro. All right, so that already made me waste time. Like, what are we? What am I trading here? All right, we're going to draft pick. We'll go a fourth from next year. Hopefully a fifth, too. This should be enough for Kevin Zietler. It's declined, but we also throw in a fifth from this year and welcome ourselves our new starting right guard. We're only like a minute and 10 seconds in, so it's not the worst start in the world. But now what we need to do is find out who we can trade away. Maybe somebody out there wants one of these two fellas. Green interest. Looking for green. We saw green right at the get-go. Who's that? No waste in time. Football team again. Who do we get from you? Jonathan Allen? We add another. Jonathan Allen. Der Deron Payne. McLaurin. Terry McLaurin. I just, I just want to see. Like, I just want to see where this is. Yeah. Like, who do we have? I know mean, we have Stephon Diggs. But, okay, we, we don't need a waste on a wide receiver. I was almost about to get him. Maybe later. Jonathan Allen just buff up that defense a little bit. Maybe it's declined. Is it worth it? Maybe maybe Deron Payne's a little easier to get here. Bring over to Buffalo, and it's declined again. Let's let's just throw in like um. Let's go with a fifth, or maybe just the third. This should be enough, right? This should be enough. Don't. I, that was almost enough. That was almost enough. But a seventh or a seventh from next year is enough. Now, Deron Payne, welcome. We have ourselves a new clog in the middle of our defensive line. Now we need linebacker, linebacker. All right, move forward. Oh, we do have that left guard. And somebody wanted Mitch Trubisky, right? Or a lot of teams do. I could use him as a make weight in a deal, like if I needed a little extra boost, but nobody's green interest, right? I didn't miss anybody. I'm wasting time right now. All right, bet. How about that offensive lineman who's no longer going to start? John Feliciano? Yeah, Roger, he, he showed up now. I, I, he just disappears. I got to go. Any green interest on this fella? Like, there's only a few teams that even want him at all. All right, who's the first one? The Bears. All right, first team we rebuild. Can we get Khalil Mack? Probably not. Uh, Keen Hicks, maybe, though? We need a left in. Be huge for us. All right, but that worked. That's nice. We'll take that one. I will definitely take that one. All right, quarterback position. What are we the next right in? So we need two new defensive ends here. I don't think Buffalo fans would be mad if I trade away Mitch Trubisky. Like, who cares? It's Mitch Trubisky, dude. All right, left in. We need another defensive end. All right, let's move forward. Let's get somebody that can uh, be an anchor on that defensive end. Uh, what right side? Miles Garrett, he's gonna be. And I'm gonna, so I know I can get him. Like, he's probably, like, is that, the, is that who I need to go with? I have so many draft picks. Hold on. Let's just get an Omicron suit, get it over with. I don't need to waste my draft picks. I don't at all. Like, I know I could have got better, but I don't need to waste them. We have 30 seconds. I still have my first round pick, bro. We could get some superstar, just anybody to add to the team. Like, do I just go, uh, Joey Bosa, I know we could use you. Declined. Let's also throw in a second from next, uh, this year too. Is that gonna be accepted? No. First from next year, but we don't we have two defensive ends that we already traded for. Hold on, this could be bad. What about Keenan Allen or Derwin James instead? Derwin James, we'll try you. Derwin James, it's accepted. All right, bet. What else we got? Hold on, we have one more pick, right? 
We have the first from next year. Can we get anybody from the Chiefs? Anybody from you? Uh, Travis Kelsey, hold on. First rounder is declined. I don't, I, I don't think we have enough. Last attempt. It was declined. It was so close, though, bro. It was so close. We do still get to sign two free agents. Be the same for every single team. Hopefully, we can, like, we have to be able. The Bears thing was a fluke. We've got to take advantage of these really good teams that we get to rebuild. Because I need them to win the Super Bowl so I can get the three. So I don't have to waste more money, dude. I'm already giving away a copy of Madden every day until the game comes out on EA Access. Every day over on Twitter. So I don't need to be giving away more money. But let's, like, help out the linebacker core again. But at the same time, I don't want to sign the same guy. We'll go... Let's add to that secondary. Richard Sherman. Actually, no. Didn't he? He just did something bad. Like, he just got arrested. That might actually... I just Let's just avoid that. Um, Olivier Vernon. We'll, we'll go... We'll do Mitchell. We haven't signed yet. 94 rated right tackle. Like, of course. We've got to take advantage of that. And you're going to, once again, see me signing the same guys over and over again. We don't have... It's 32 teams, bro. It's going to happen. Earl Thomas. Just wanted to add two beasts to that defense. Let's go out and win this freaking Super Bowl. Oh, what do you know? The Browns already make it for the second time. Yeah, we didn't make it to the Super Bowl. We wait. Are you serious? All right. So what I do know is that the Broncos they need a quarterback. 100%. First thing we're gonna try to go after. I'm gonna trade away Teddy B. I love Teddy B. I love him. Now teams want Teddy B. Bad. So how bad you actually want him, Buffalo Bills? Will you give me Stephon Diggs in return? I'll take that. We already have a already have a good wide receiver core. Um, let's let's flip one of them to make this deal go through. Or maybe I can just hold on to him. Yeah, that's, that's stupid. I can hold on and trade him later. All right. So a fourth round pick, maybe a fifth. On top of Teddy B first to find it, I really had no idea this was like this close. So let's throw what we don't need to waste time. I mean, I'm bringing us to find Dick third round pick Teddy B. Also throw on top a third round draft pick from next year. Maybe change that to a second from next year's decline, but maybe the second from I think the second from next year should be good now. I would I would say I think that should be the case. And bam. Welcome Stefan Diggs to Buffalo. To Buffalo, but welcome him from Buffalo. Dude, this is hard. Now, do we trade away Drew Locke? Anybody actually want Drew Locke? I know there's going to be a lot of yellow interest, but I think it's more important we look for a quarterback before we actually trade him away. Yeah, we actually could trade him for a quarterback, like have him as part of a deal. So let's go. How about let's let's go. Let's go to Packerville. Like this would make sense, right? Like this was this is rumored in real life, but I don't know how much they actually like value Aaron Rodgers here. Oh, no. All right. So this might not ever happen in the history of life. We have the third overall pick. Okay, so that that's more like what I want to see. Yeah, it sucks to get rid of the first now, but like we, we at the end of the day, we're not gonna waste it. We're getting friggin' Aaron Rodgers. Wait, did that go down? Hold on, did that just actually go down? Hello? Second from let's do third for next year instead. Like, what do you mean? Declined again? Huh? So first and a second for Aaron Rodgers. Like that's weird, but I mean, I guess that's Aaron Rodgers. Like I can't complain. We got Aaron Rodgers, dude. We need a defensive tackle now. We can get rid of one of these wide receivers. Like, probably Tim Patrick. He's the older of the bunch. Any green interest we're looking... Actually, no. Let's throw in all these wide receivers and find... Oh, I don't want to trade away. What about KJ Hamler? I added in there. Anybody have green interest in all these guys? Why? Is he, he has, like, a smudge on his face, it looks like. They need to like, a, get better lighting for Tim. Okay, nobody wants Tim, unfortunately. Tight end, offensive line, Bobby Massey. Like, I'm just trying to get some green interest here. We were, like, I'm, I'm doing this a lot different than I did the first few, and I really don't know why, because they, they went okay. All right, a bunch of teams want this guy. A bunch of them. So, we need a center. Frank Ragno, Michael Brockers, and what else do we need? We need to start doing more, like, multi, like, trade. Like, just getting good pieces, like, at positions, that, like, just stacking good players. Like, why not try to get is Jamie Collins, too? Just add him? I mean, he'll be behind freaking uh, Von Miller, obviously. But I, I'm just curious, though, in the universe. I mean, that went so much further than what I thought. We'll be getting three solid players here. If we can go here, and I have a first from next year, but is this actually enough? It's accepted. Wow. Three? I mean, players that will be good for us this season? That's funky, bro. All right, next. Running back. Javante Williams, Royce Freeman. There's got to be somebody out there that has some sort of green interest in Royce. Not looking good, boys. Not looking good. What else do we need? We need a strong safety, guards, tackles. We need linemen. So I guess I need to try to do what I have been doing and just get cheap linemen real quick. Like, I just I need to just get the first guy I see that I feel like we can get pretty easily. David, not David Bakhtiari. Isaiah Wynn. Oh, God. Where, where are the people? Ayo, oh, this is a perfect candidate. Andrew. 30 seconds to go. I feel like we might be able to get one more offensive lineman to, pre 
uh, to protect. Does have a stroke? Protect for Aaron? Oh, God. For Aaron Rodgers? Fourth and a third? Hello? They love Andrew. Six as well. I don't think we're going to get another offensive lineman. I can try really quick. Who's the right tackle that I always get? Who is it? Belaga. Belaga, where are you? Chargers. Six seconds. I'm not going to get it off in time, am I? I need to, like, stop trying. Oh, God. Oh, see, yeah, it's just like I was about to, like, try, like, Stefan Diggs in the deal. But it's no big deal, I don't think. You know what? what it, we're at 86 rated. Like, this is the best team we've really put together so far. Like, we did need a safety, so maybe I could sign Earl Thomas. He could play strong safety for us. Like, he's an 82 rated. Wouldn't do a horrible job. And maybe go back and sign David Castro. I think this is the best team we've assembled so far. And it doesn't matter because the Browns and Bears play for the second time in today's video. What do you mean? An 86 rated team went 8-8 eight and eight with Aaron Rodgers. Like, this is why I said it's going to be hard to win three. Like, I don't think I can build a better team than that. Well, uh, speak of the devil, this should be easy. You know what? For the Browns, I'm going to do something special since they seem like they have an automatic advantage to other teams. We only get ourselves two minutes like they're already winning the super bowl every year bro like what does it matter so what we just do have to get go just be so well, i guess at the same time i like i wanna i want this to like go good like who's a good wide out we can add let's add as many weapons as offense as possible let's just be so trolly with this mike evans like we have first round draft picks freaking to, to get guys like this a second for michael evans how about this declined Let's just throw in our first from this year. Screw it. It's freaking Mike Evans. All right. Well, we probably can get somebody. What? DeAndre Hopkins. Hmm. Huh. That's not really close at all. Keenan Allen, maybe? Trying to find somebody that I feel like would be, like, a good fit here. Second rounder. We're going to trade a first, second, and third. Get ourselves a solid wide receiver. Screw it. Declined again. Let's find somebody that we can get here. Tyreek Hill, maybe? That's declined too. Okay, I might actually be trolling. I might actually not be able to get anybody at all in two minutes. Devontae Smith would be nice. Calvin Ridley, how about you, bro? How about just a first round pick for you? Declined, but now we add in the third. We, we need to get some, some work done here because we have 50 seconds to go because I'm a moron. Let's just, just try to get some. Hold on, I'm just about to go like crazy. 45 seconds of just complete concentration. I just, I, I, okay, now I'm actually kind of curious. Like, would this work? George Kittle added this offense? Yeah, not close, not close, not close. <sighs> Concentration. Alex Mack, former Brown, third round pick. Adding you to the team because you're old, and I know this will be easy to go through here in a second. Fourth and fifth, adding the deal as well. Alex Mack, welcome to Cleveland, Ohio. Next, Giants. Who do you, do you have anybody I can take? Uh, anybody at all, bro. Shaquille Griffin, uh, we, we already got a center. Marvin Jones, like, we don't need you for anything. 13 seconds. This is this is a fail. Let's get a middle linebacker. I should have focused on the linebacker core. Second round pick for CJ Mosley. Throwing a second next year. It was accepted. Can I get anybody else? Hello? That's it. That's that's the two minutes. Like, I, like that sucked. But at the same time, like, that was the challenge. Like, they're still going to win the Super Bowl. Like, they, they're better than what they've been the last two times they made it in today's video. Like, I added players to them. But watch them not make it just because it's me. To be fair, I guess I could sign some linebackers since, like, I can still sign two free agents and I didn't get to trade for any. So, KJ Wright, welcome to the squad. How about the other... Like, Quan Alexander, he's a youngster. I mean, he's a star of element. I mean, he could be a little decent linebacker for us. But hopefully that's good enough. I, I should be. I told you guys, there's just something about Madden and the Browns. They have a love affair. We've made it against the Arizona Cardinals in the Super Bowl. Teams at a 90 rated, 93 offense. We went 12 and 4 on the year. We've got to get ourselves our second Super Bowl win. We have ourselves this opportunity. We can't fail at this point. And we get the dub. 24 to 21, bros. We haven't even got out of the B's yet. We already have two out of three wins. Let's go. Dang, I get the Browns and the Bucks back to back. This should be easy. Yeah, I know I might be making up things as I go along, but I, I think it's fair. I think if the team is an 85 over overall or higher i will only do a two minute timer i think that's fair i think that's fair it makes things a little even but still it should be easy for me even though the time's cut in half like this is the bucks they're the super bowl champions like what do the bucks even need it says they need quarterback they need a fullback that shows you right there how good this team actually is i think i'm just gonna go for some some veterans who want to win themselves a ring like harrison smith like who, who we got a strong safety here like i'm sure he's a nice fun, like fine guy jordan whitehead nice man but when I can trade my second round draft pick and then like a 
fourth and fifth and get a guy like Harrison Smith who needs himself a ring. Okay, I was like, that would have been really cool. But, like, I'm going to still get him. First round draft pick for Harrison Smith. Also throw in a third. This might be pretty close. Not exactly. Wow. So, like, do I do this? Is this stupid? Like, at this point, why not? Like, I'm already this far into the commentary. Like, come on. Fifth round pick. This hopefully does get it accepted. We still have plenty of draft picks, and we still have oh, plenty of time. But hopefully the next guy try to trade for. Do I? I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it, bro. I don't think I've ever traded for Derrick Henry in a rebuild ever. A third round pick. I have no clue. What's his value? Oh, wow. They want a lot for Julio. First round pick from next year. Yeah, not even close to trading for Julio. Well, I mean, I might as well get Julio now because I said his name. I meant Derrick Henry, like, obviously. like, But I have Julio's jersey on. I I've got to trade for him a couple times in today's video. What did I have to trade for him before? Oh, yeah. He was actually kind of hard to get. All right, moving on to the Texans then, I guess. Steelers. Do we get Cameron? They do need a defensive end. We've already traded for him today, but, like, like we have 30 seconds left. Like, like, let me get somebody easy for once again. Why is he valued at a one-star, but it still takes a lot to get him? First round pick, Cameron Hayward declined again. Uh, can we at least, like, we have 20 seconds. I want to get one more player. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'll just throw in the third. We have 15 seconds. That's, this is insane. Like, come on now. 10 seconds to get one more player. I don't think I'm going to be able to have nine seconds. Anybody. Anybody. Uh, let's, let's go. Dwayne Brown. Dwayne Brown. Dwayne Brown. Dwayne Brown. Uh, I, 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 I didn't get it, I don't think. Like, I don't think that counts. I think I should cut him. I'll cut him. Actually, no. I think it's fair. I'll just sign one free agent. Like, that's a good trade-off. It's not that serious. Like, it was close. We'll sign one free agent, though. You know what? No, screw it. I don't have to sign a free agent. No, 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 no. Since you guys will be crying, oh, RBT, the trade was accepted. A second after the timer went off. All right, fine. I won't sign a free agent. We'll still make it to the Super Bowl. Like, there's no way that's real. Like, the Jags didn't just make it in the Super Bowl over me. Like, we went nine and, like, there's just no way the Super Bowl reigning champions add all those players, and they go nine and seven next year. Back to the four-minute timer. Now, what do we do here? We need a defensive tackle. That should be easy. Defensive tackles from the get-go, pretty freaking easy to bring in. Now, oh, we got to find the right fit, though. Vita Vea. Let's get, let's get a champion. Let's get a world champion from our last rebuild. Not really, like, they didn't win it, but they wouldn't realize. Like, you get what I'm trying to say here. So, draft pick. What do you, what does it take for you, Vita? Like, second? Okay. Maybe not. Maybe we need to go for somebody else. Like, that's a little bit, I mean, I guess he is really young. Now, oh, that's a guy. Oh, this is a guy, too. I would love to have Chris Jones. No, I don't want to trade away any of these running backs. They're a wide receiver, maybe. Andy Isabella, you might want to submit this through. It went up a little bit, but not a lot. What about we throw in now, like, a fifth? Chris Jones? Not quite accepted? Like, do we have... Let's just... Okay, wait, let's not stop wasting time. Like, what am I doing? Third round. That's the climb, too. Like, what do you mean, EA Sports? Now, throw in a second. Now, he's accepted. Welcome, Chris Jones, to the Arizona Cardinals. Now, we do need a right tackle, and I'm going after him again. I've got him once today. It's just, it just makes my life so stress-free. Brian Bulaga, I don't know what they have against you at EA, but, like, I should be able to trade away, like, my, I forget, how hard was it? Okay, I, I think I got to trade away, like, my third or something. Like, it's Brian Bulaga, bro. He's 88 rated. So we also throw in a fifth, and we're throwing a seventh. This should be accepted. And we still have half our time to go. Or let Kyler Murray become a Super Bowl champion. Now, middle linebacker, let's see real quick. Is there anybody, like, I could potentially trade away for something good? We do need a tight end. Kelvin Beachum, maybe. How about we could use a few guards. We have a couple... Corey Peters? Anybody want either of these two guys? Hello? Hello? Nobody wants them. That sucks. All right, let's just start get, getting freaking after this, boys. All right, we need a good defensive end. It's a good right end. We've already got Anamikon Sue. Did we just get another? Nah, we're not going to get Frank Clark. We get somebody better than Franklin uh, Clark. Grady Jarrett. How about you? What's going to take to bring you in, brother? Uh, they need a center, but like I don't want to trade away a center. How about a third? I, I have no clue. I have no idea at all. Okay, wow, they love Grady. All right, we, we need to kind of speed things up here. I'm just starting to stress out a little bit. Not a lot, a little bit. Coral Lawson, Trey Flowers. Like, I mean, I guess Trey Flowers could do a job for us. 
Second round draft pick. Like, I have no clue. It is going to be... Ex okay, that would have probably been accepted on it in the third from next year. All right, but hey, whatever. We're not wasting our draft picks. All right, moving along now. We do need guards. We need guards. I know we need guards a lot, but, like, that's on the teams. You know, they, they need to sign better guards in real life. Like, don't stream at me for trading for guards all the time. Go, go tell them in real life. Hey, go sign real guards that can be put in the roster so RBT doesn't have to trade for them anymore in rebuilds. Retires, you know, offensive linemen, you know. Shaq Mason, 39 seconds to go. Third round pick from next year. I just want to see. Yeah, not close. I'll be willing. Let's just get rid of this. Let's just get our right guard. Get out of here. It's accepted. 30 seconds to go still. So we, that doesn't mean we, we can't get anybody good. It's going to be tougher now. 20 seconds to go. I want to get a middle linebacker really quick. Do I go after Dante Hightower again? I, sh I probably should have just done that and like not wasted time. Did Mario Davis? 15 seconds to get you, bro. Third and a fourth from next year. Submit this through. It's so close. It is so close. We have nine seconds. I'm going to be so salty. We get ourselves to Mario Davis, and I'm going to end it right there. We don't need the extra five seconds, or I just really didn't want to waste an extra five seconds because nothing was going to happen. 84 overall team. We can still sign two free agents. And since we did need another defensive end, I mean, we needed a corner too, so we could, like... Let's just, let's just, let's just disregard life at this point, you know? Everything has happened. This is the video game. Like, get out of here. We need ourselves a corner. And last but not least, let's get ourselves two corners. Brian Poole is the free agent's pool. <laughs> How many times are the Bears going to make it to the Super Bowl? The Chargers have so much cap for 95 mil. They once again need guards. Let's just get that, like, over with. Why does it say they need a quarterback? Like, they have Justin Herbert. Let's just get the boring position out of the way. We'll try to get a guy we have not got yet. I don't think I've ever traded for Wyatt Teller ever in a day of my life in any video I've ever done. Third round pick, I, I don't know. Like, that not even close. Second instead, I don't think that's to be accepted either. Like, is he that good? I mean, I know he's good, but like, guards used to I'd be able to trade a freaking pickle for a guard. Let's try to get like at least an 80 plus rated Zach Martin's 98 rated. I forgot you existed. Second round pick for Zachary? Declined. I mean, he's worth, though, a first-round pick. It's a 98 rated at your number one position. You've got to protect Justin Herbert. That's accepted. I wanted to keep my my uh, first from this year. Fourth added in. Did that, I, I keep thinking they're going down. Am I, like, blind, or is that real? Like, are they really going down? Justin Jackson. We don't need anybody behind Eckler. That, like, I, are they going down? I, I can't. I don't Bro, who knows at this point in my life. Let's just do a third. Get this over with. Zach Martin, welcome what is happening like what is actually happening right now we'll do a second from this year this is the most insane thing i think i've ever seen in my life we finally oh the ea sports is having themselves a giggle they are giggling in themselves right now fifth round draft pick from this year this is i'm like literally about to puke let's just like please dog get out of here what is going on what do you mean bro what is happening this is, the, this is the most insane thing I've ever partaken in in my entire life, dog. We're never going to get Zach Martin. This Oh, uh-uh. I'm tilting. Tilting. Oh, my tilt level is over 1,000 right now. Jesus Christ. That was the biggest, like, mistake of my entire life. Let's move on. Next, we do need ourselves. Let's see if there's a wide receiver we can. We don't have any wideouts we really can trade away. I forgot they got Brian Cook. Our offensive line, if we can get, let's get ourselves. I know, yeah, ugh, guards. You said you weren't trading for another guard. It will have a perfect offensive line to block for Justin Herbert this season, and he can get even better throughout the year. Andrew Norwell will get you again. Get you again. I think we got him once, maybe. I, I can't remember, bro. My mind scrambled after that freaking debacle we just had. Third rounder for next year. Is it enough? Not really. Let's just, just second. Let's, I just, I just want to have one relaxing trade. All right, Andrew Norwell, good. Now we need to go outside linebacker. But do we have anybody we can trade away, or we just really need to do draft picks? I can say free safety. Like, can we trade away either of these guys? Anybody want you? Somebody had uh, like yellow interest in Adderley? You can sign Earl Thomas at a free agency. So who are you? St Why is the Steelers? I want like my entire team. Can we get Minka? Like, okay, I knew that wasn't going to happen. Next, Stephon to it. I mean, we could use another lineman on the other side of Joey Bosa. What? what? Why even have interest in him? Tyson, we, we need a defensive tackle to climb. All right, we're, we'll get him. Like, he's not a sexy pick or anything, but we'll get him. Uh, fourth from next year, added in the deal, it's accepted. Thank you. So, what do we even do now? Like, do I just try to get a bunch of average players from a team? Like, do I, let me try this, actually. Let's just try, let's go to a team like, I, I don't know, Ravens? Like, can we get, like, Calais Campbell from you? 
Can we get, like, Mark Andrews for me, too? Okay, yes. Uh, yes, they, they can. Um, I, I, so that, that, just, I didn't think that really was gonna happen, but it just did. So we now can trade away this guy. We have 19 seconds to do so. First team interested, my Titans? Kevin Byard? Like, I need a free safety? Yeah, I had a feeling. Oh, come on. Just give me somebody. Taylor LeJuan, AJ Brown, Roger Saffold, Rashawn Evans, maybe? I just, I gotta submit something. Okay, that actually got accepted. Okay, I had no clue that was gonna get accepted, but I think... We actually did a decent job with those four minutes, especially after how it started with that Zach Martin trade. With that 86 rated with a quarterback that can win the rookie of the year, maybe even the MVP that can help him even get higher rated. Now, we do need to sign two free agents. And like I said, I want to sign a free safety. I said Earl Thomas, but I forgot Malik Hooker is way younger. He's a free agent. Be exactly like perfect for what we need. And I really don't even know, know what else we need. Maybe another cornerback, maybe a wide receiver. Just for depth, Golden Tate could fit well. Welcome to LA. Oh, would you guess who made it to the Super Bowl? He's so stupid. Well, obviously the Chiefs get the two-minute rule too. They're the Chiefs, bro. Like, what else do you want me to add to their team? I can get Mitchell Schwartz to resign him. Let's just get himself. Let's just get another star receiver. Like we're already here. Allen Robinson. Let's let's beat up the teams that always like pick apart the teams that always make it to the Super Bowl. Allen Robinson. Let's welcome you into town if we can find somebody that, like, y'all are interested in. Jarek McKinnon, you don't want either. It went up some, though, so maybe we can throw in a second as well and add ourselves Allen Robinson to the Kansas City Chiefs. That was simple. It's all about saving time, and I'm, like, talking, which kind of, like, takes away from saving time, you know? Like, ah, who do I... Joel Batonia, let's slowly but surely pick him apart. I, let's, let's build the Browns on our team. Let's do that. Build, instead of build a Bears, build the Browns. But he could play center, I guess. He could definitely play center. Trade straight up, maybe, for a 78, for a, an 88. That'd be kind of a big finesse right there. We also throw in a fourth and a fifth. This enough? Not quite. I think, though, we should be throw just a third by itself. Like, I just, I, I hate myself sometimes. I'm just so anal about things that it just wastes my entire life. Second round pick from next year. This should be accepted. I, I swear, bro, this is going to happen too many times, and I'm going to get so tilted. This one's accepted, finally. But can we even get one more trade to be accepted, dude? Like, Denzel Ward or a line... Who, they don't have any linebackers, do they? I mean, we could take Jadavion Clowney. Like, he would be great. A third... Like, what, what is it? I mean, just throw it in. First round draft pick for next year. Test them out. Close. Third rounder added in. We get to Dave Young Clowney from him too to climb. We should be able to easily add in like a fifth. We have 15 seconds left. Let's take one more player off the Cleveland Browns. We have 10 seconds. Anybody, literally, even if it's like uh, John Johnson, I uh, we're not. Gonna, we don't have time. Like I don't know why I'm like sitting here acting like we have time to get Jonathan because we don't. But we still added to the team and we still sign a few players. We're gonna sign defensive players because that's what this team needs. Like Melvin Ingram. And Jadavion Clowney on that same defensive line with Chris Jones and others, Frank Clark. And now you add... Let me just re-sign Mitchell Swartz. Like, why, why'd you leave in the first place? I said defense, but you're Mitchell Swartz, bro. You're 94 rate. Oh, yeah, this is the matchup everybody expected in Super Bowl 56. Oh, we went 12-4. and four. Really, who did we lose to? Like, who did we actually lose to? I'm not going to win with the Chiefs. Who am I really going to win this third and final Super Bowl with? We lost to the Patriots. Like, get out. kind of don't even want to rebuild the Colts. Because I want them to come in last place. I want the Titans to win. But, I, I mean, I guess this is a virtual world. But, hey, middle linebacker. Is their number one position of need? Oh, I know exactly. Let's just let's be simple smart about this. Try to add as many players as we want to. I, I just I don't want to give away a copy of Madden. I want to win that third Super Bowl. Dante Hightower. We'll get you for a nice little, what, like fourth round pick. Carson's a, a 72. I didn't realize he was that low. This is going to be so hard. Like, do I do I replace Carson Wentz? Do I, do I do that? Let's replace Carson Wentz. If there's any other quarterback, any team that the Patriots want him, or no, they didn't. It went away. Who Who is that? The Saints? Okay, the Saints want Carson Wentz. All right. Give me uh, Michael. No, you got you to gotta give me Michael Thomas for him. That's just, that's just what you got to do. You have to give me... I mean, I guess I'll trade away a first-round pick. Mark Michael Thomas, first-rounder. Ooh, come on. Third-round pick added into the deal. I guess I'm being a little silly. I don't have to do all this nonsense. Left tackle, we do need, though. Trom, like Armstead, I'll take you. They value him actually higher than Michael Thomas. Cameron Jordan, we could use a defensive end. Like, this should go through 
not quite straight up. He's a little bit older. Second, like, let's just get this over with. Go ahead and get ourselves our quarterback. That's acceptable. But who, like, our defense is already sick. We need ourselves a QB, though. It doesn't have to be a stud, but, like, we gotta have somebody better than a 72, you know? Who? Do I have, do I go after, like, a Ron Tannehill? Like, I've never done this. I've never tried trading for him. Just to trigger Colts fans, he's 15 overall higher than Carson Wentz. I, I, I really have no clue. Like, well, this, yeah, not even remotely close. Like, I don't even know if the first round pick will be close enough to get Ryan Tannehill. Yeah, so far away. So let's go after another QB really quick. A like, Kirk Cousins type, is that who I actually try to go after? Baker Mayfield? Tom? Do I bring Tom all the way over? Like, I, I have no clue. He's 43. Like, is he hard to get in franchise now? He used to be pretty easy. Like, I don't even think a first is enough to get Tom Brady now. I mean, I guess at the same time, it is Tom Brady. Okay, it might actually be accepted. Wow. I think we're going to get ourselves Tom Brady. Third round draft pick from next year added in. It's declined again. But let's just do it. Let's just get it over with. Let's just get it over with. Tom Brady, welcome to the Indianapolis Colts. That is actually pretty freaking insane. Now, we do need to add... Yeah, we got to get Tom some better wide receivers to throw to. We have a minute and 30 seconds to do so. The question is, you know, let's bring over Tom's best friend, Antonio Brown. Got to be around Tom. If he's not around Tom, he uh, makes some off-the-field mistakes. Second round draft pick from next year. Already wasted a lot. Wow, I, I had no idea he was going to be that easy to get. Now, do we? who's our best tight end? I don't remember. 78 rated Jack Doyle. Can we trade Mo Alley Cox for somebody? Anybody have green interest in you? We have a minute left to go. I need to be okay. So one team does the Saints again? All right, so who do you have a tight end? Adam True? Um, you need a fullback? Well, you need a right in wide receiver. Do they have any wide receivers we can trade away? Like, I, I, I don't think I can get Michael Thomas. I'm just, I think I'm just wasting time at this point. Like, let's try and get ourselves a solid tight end to throw to here. Who's somebody not way too expensive? You know, Tom Brady needs his tight ends. Noah Fant, he's younger. He might be harder to get. Austin Hooper, 87 rated. I, I really don't quite know what to expect here. Do they have any good backup linebackers, maybe, that they might be interested in? Really, yeah, we don't have anybody, to be completely honest. That was kind of disappointing and underwhelming. Don't want either of those guys. It's going to have to be a draft pick. We're really not going to get anybody at all. I mean, I have a first from next year. And that's the client. Oh no, I needed to try to get somebody. Like, do I like do I just do this? Like, do I bring in Gronk? Like, I know that's too much, but I had 10 seconds left. Like, what do you want from me, dude? Like, is there anybody old I can get? Let's just like Brian. I I, I just always go for Brian. I got the trade off, but like, yeah, it's not gonna be accepted. So like, we still build a good team. Like, I basically got Tom Brady, Antonio Brown, and Gronk. I got the Bucks, but like, I think we we still should have a shot. I mean, Tom Brady on your team, you always have a shot. Let's add ourselves, get ourselves another, we do need an outside linebacker because our outside linebacker depth was pretty lackluster. KJ Wright, let's get ourselves the best wide receiver that's not Golden Tate. Oh, Larry Fitzgerald, that's perfect. Getting Tom a ring, another one? Larry Fitzgerald, another one? I guess everybody I'm talking about already has a ring aside from Larry. But hopefully we can get one so I, I don't have to worry about giving away another copy. I'll have to try that hard the rest of the video. I'm so tired of the Browns already. It's every single time. The Cowboys just need defense. I might not even get one. I might get a center. Let's just get a center and not even worry about offense the rest of the rebuild. We have 3 minutes, 50 seconds to go. Let's just get like the first. Who's the best? Like 87 rated. That's a target. Ryan Jensen. Super Bowl winner. I guess at this point, just trading for Buccaneers the entire freaking video. Third round pick. Is this enough? Not sure. Not quite. Third round. Oh, we'll do a second rounder from next year just to make sure this goes through. Was accepted. Easy, just like that. Might have been too much, but I ah, screw it. Who really cares? Tony Pollard. Hold on. There's got to be. Yep, there is a team. Eagles want them. Eagles want them. We, can, we need a defensive tackle too. Fletcher Cox, come on over. Not accepted, but you are perfect for what we need right now, especially on the defensive side of things. Second round pick added in. Decline. So this is actually a little bit harder than what I thought. First round draft pick from next year. That's also declined. So it looks like we're probably not getting ourselves Fletcher Cox unless we trade away both first. First from this year, that's declined. But our second from this year too. You get Fletcher. Bro, Fletcher's hard to get. I guess at least we saved those draft picks. I could have got Jason Kelsey as well. I mean, I, could, I need a guard. I could use Brandon Brooks. Decline, but like I can get all my uh, second round draft pick or something. Not who I wanted off the team. 
Oh, you've already got two offensive lines. Unless I'm not getting any freaking offensive players. You know what? Screw it. Since we're here, let's get ourselves a tight end. Dallas Goddard, like you were already here. I probably could have got you instead, honestly, and that would have been better for our team. I, I don't know. Like, how hard are you to get? Actually, let's just focus on defense now. Let's focus on defense. Like, let's see. Is there, like, any of these wide receivers I'd be willing to trade away? Like, nobody's going to want you, right? Or Blake Jarwin or something. Like, nobody wants one of these guys. Like, there's no shot. Not one little yellow. Like, I wanted one little bit of yellow, but okay. Yeah, understandable, understandable. All right, defensive tackle. Who is a good D tackle that we can trade for? We've got to focus on defense. I'm assigning two free agents out of defense while I'm not stressing too much. Um, Kenny Clark? You're probably too hard to get, aren't you? Christian Barmore is definitely too hard to get. Jonathan Hankins? Like, it doesn't have to be a superstar. Brandon Williams actually could be perfect, but I, I don't quite know. Like, can we just trade away a fourth and still get him for this? Yes. Okay. Noted. That has been officially noted. Now we need the right in position. Okay, did we just get two Ravens? I, I didn't even think about that. We probably could have just traded both those, like, got both those guys in that trade. Uh, third for next year? Like, okay, once again, not quite sure. Yeah. Maybe a little harder when I thought. Maybe we don't get Kalias Campbell, but we do need to get ourselves a right end because our D-line is not the most talented as of right now. We've already had Cameron Hayward plenty of times. I keep hitting my desk, but we're going to not, like, break concentration, not break character. Jerry Hughes, I know you're nothing. Like, you're not an you know, all-pro player anymore. But, like, you'll do a job for us in the right end position, and you're going to be very, very cheap. And we still have a minute to go. Six is enough. Hopefully it is. Accepted. Let's go. We do need to add ourselves a cornerback. Keep in mind, we still have two free agents that we can sign. Be smart about this. Who could really help us and is actually possible for us to trade for? Who? Darius Slay. That could be an interesting one. First rounder from next year. Declined, but actually so much easier than what I expected. If it eventually does get accepted. Seven for next year, this should be enough, right? Like, it's accepted. Thank you. We still have one more first round pick. It says we need a left outside linebacker. The first, I must go to the first guy I thought of. Like, I don't have time to waste and fill around and try to make everybody happy. We're trying to get Vaughn. First round pick from this year. Added into the deal. It's declined. Oh no, 15 seconds. This is going to be stressful, isn't it? We're not going to get him, are we? We are not going to get him, are we? If we do cornerback, maybe we go. Oh, we have no good cornerbacks. Travon. Oh, I don't want to trade Travon Diggs away. I just, I just screwed everything up. I just screwed it all up. Oh my God. I just, I just choked. I didn't want to trade away one of the young cornerbacks. Oh, that sucks so bad. Don't stress. Don't stress. Sign some free agents. I am a little disappointed. Not going to lie. Once again, I'm going to get ourselves a cornerback out of free agency. Who's the best one? We'll go. We haven't got Steven Nelson yet. We'll, we'll try to, like, you know, just, just get ourselves a solid corner. And we actually need two, like, to be fair. I, I didn't even know our corners were that bad. So we'll add Brian Poole as well. So we improved the defense. I mean, we didn't get really any superstars, but we improved the defense. We improved the line. Now, that's just not even fair, dude. Two of, like, the last three teams we've rebuilt, they match up against each other. But when I made their team better than what they were in this franchise, they don't make it to the Super Bowl. Wow, we went 11-5, but uh, what do you know? Still looking for our third Super Bowl. You guys know now why I was never confident in the first place. First thing I'm doing with the Dolphins, getting a running back. Because they just have... Not a featured back. They have three just, you know, like scat backs. I don't even know how to describe it. Like, it's not one feature back that you know is going to run you over. We got to get ourselves just somebody that's competent. Joe Mixon, he fits the bill. Like, just better than what we got. Now, they need a right tackle. Maybe they want DJ Fluker. Like, this would be cool. Not even close. Like, one guy I think of, though, that is normally relatively easy to get that you wouldn't expect to be is this man, Ezekiel Elliott. This would be so interesting. They have so many picks, a second round pick. It's declined. It's declined. That's kind of, I'm kind of sad about that. Are we really trading a first for Ezekiel Elliott? It looks like we just did. All right, at least I don't have to waste time. We got ourselves a running back, but we can't. We have all these running backs we can trade away now is the thing. Like, I knew there was going to be some teams. Of course, the 49ers want another running back. Oh, if we got George Kittle to throw to? Okay, yeah, that's not going to work, is it? Uh, let's left tackle. We need Trump Williams. That could be perfect for what we need. We need ourselves. Our number one need is left tackle. So, if we also throw in that. Let's do a second. Let's try to get away with that. I'm throw away that first. That's declined as well. How about that first? It's the eighth overall pick. 
That's accepted. I will take myself that one. All right, move along. Next running back. Uh, we can trade away all these running backs, really. Or if anything, we'll trade away the younger guy, Lynn Bowden. Keep one decent running back back there. Hopefully just one team that wants you win. Or maybe we need to actually put in Malcolm Brown, too. One team. I just need one team with green interest. And it just it really looks like there is no teams with green interest. All right, move along. Wide receiver. Like, I could trade away. Like, there's three guys I don't care about. Like, there's got to be one team, green interest. One team. All right, there's not. Wow, let's do the running back. All right, go back to the running back. We need to just, I don't care about the defense. The defense is already loaded. I just want to fix this offense, give two weapons to throw to. Who's a good team? Who's a team we could take somebody from the Vikings? Like, can we take Adam Thielen from you? That, that sounds good in my head, if anything. Okay, that just, that was so much easier than what I thought. Like, I just feel like I could have got more, but okay. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. We still have one, two, three, four. Like, we can get rid of all three of these guys, really. Like, we don't need them. Anybody want, like, all three of them? Yellow interest? We need yellow. Where's the color? Where's the color yellow? Not one team? Really? Wow. All right. I mean, fair play, I guess. What do we need now? God, of course, everything is offensive linemen always, bro. Orlando Brown? I, I got I to gotta get, like, the old men. Like, we've got to go after the old guys because I don't think I'm going to be able to. Jason Kelsey, you are actually perfect as well. We have a minute to go. question is, how many offensive linemen are we really going to be able to try and trade for? Like, Jason Kelsey is harder than what I thought. Two first? Oh, okay, Jason. Um, We still have our first from next year. Maybe just this by itself. Decline. Now we should be able to throw in a third or maybe a fourth. Let's welcome Jason Kelsey to nowhere just yet. I guess we'll have to trade away this second. Submit this one. I, like, this is just ridiculous at certain points, you know. Six round pick added into the deal. I thought somebody just ring my doorbell. That's accepted. We have 30 seconds to fill multiple more positions. And, I mean, we have draft picks, but, like, what do I, what do, I do? 26 seconds. I'm not trading for him, like, the 76th like, time. A guy named Elkton. Can we actually get Elkton Jenkins? There's no way, right? Second round pick. We have 17 seconds left to go. Okay, this this could actually be a thing. Another second round pick. We have 10 seconds to go. It's accepted. Can we get one more? There, there's... I doubt it, right? Brian Burns. Like, I don't know why I clicked on you. I was trying to click on somebody just to try something. But it just it's just not going to work. But I still think we added quite a few offensive weapons. And we can sign some offensive linemen. I mean, that's no big deal. Like, why not just go ahead and take Mitchell Schwartz? Like, he's an absolute monster. I've only signed him once before, I think. It'd be perfect for Tua and also David DeCastro. Two perfect offensive linemen, exactly what we need. Like, this defense is Super Bowl caliber, I think. Now the offense is a 91 rating. I swear, it's every Super Bowl. It's a team that we traded for a player from. We got Jason Kelsey, and oh, they're still good enough to make it to the Super Bowl. We're only good enough to go 9-7. and seven. I mean, if life isn't a lie, we should be able to make it to the Super Bowl because they just made it to the Super Bowl last sim. This time, we're going to make the team a lot better. So we're going to keep all these guys. What do we, like, I like Jalen Hurts. I'm going to keep Jalen Hurts. I'm going to get myself, I know who I'm going after. I'm going to get him so many times, and I really don't care what you have to say about it because we're in his jersey. Julio Jones and Devonta Smith on the same wide receiver core. What if I threw in my first? I can't remember if Julio was, like, if a first round is enough to get Julio at this point in his career. I would take Roger. Probably not, actually. I'll take Rashawn Evans, though. First round pick. Okay. Okay. EA Sports. What else can we add around here? Left in Rashad Weaver, the rookie. Danico Autry, maybe. Left outside line. Harold Landry. What is this looking like? Decline. But if we throw ourselves in this second into this deal, can we get three quality players? What? Like, there's no space in that green bar. Like, I should be able to literally trade away a fingernail and this be accepted now. End of this. Julio, Rashad Evans, and Harold Landry added to the same team? That's 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 wild. Like that that's actually pretty legit. Now, don't we need a left tackle? I might get rid of Jalen Hurts. I don't know yet because I really want to win it all. Now, left tackle, that guy's fine and dandy and all, but we need somebody better for today's rebuild. Now, the first guy I think of, I haven't traded for him yet. Left tackle, Tyron Smith. Now, do we did I, I didn't even look. Do we have any wide receivers? Like, they're all just average human beings. Like, they're all just average. Aside from Devonta Smith, like, obviously. 
Carry on Johnson. Anybody want you green interest? There's got to be one always, right? Always got to be one. I guess it really doesn't have to be because he wasn't. Cowboys at least are interested somewhat. Tyron Smith. I'm going to have to trade draft picks to know this. Oh, God. This is going to be a lot harder than what I thought. Actually, let's go with somebody different. Like, since the trade deadline, or the trade deadline, the trade update earlier in Madden, like, I've just not been as consistent with knowing who is and isn't easy to trade for because everything was traded which is anything was changed which is how it should be david bakhtiari i kind of like want to try and get you but you're gonna be way too hard to get i'm waffling too much we only have a minute left to go i don't think we can get them i don't think we have enough yeah it's not gonna happen we gotta get somebody though to anchor this offensive line like, I might just settle for Andrew Whitworth at this point, 87 rated. I try, you guys saw, I tried to get as many guys as I possibly could, but we're at to settle on. He's a veteran guy. Do a job here in Philadelphia. Now we have a minute to get a quarterback. Like, that could be a problem. But who really is somebody that I, I think we could realistically add to this team? Like, somebody that really isn't that difficult to get, which there's, I don't think there's that many guys. Like, Baker? Like, I, I don't know. Like, if I threw set a third, a first, and a third for Baker, like, I, I, I doubt, yeah, I, that's what I expected. Anybody have interest in Jalen, though? They kind of do. All right, we have 50 seconds to go to make a quarterback swap deal. That's basically what we're trying to do here. Dak? Dak? Yeah, not even close. I don't think this, like, I think we're just wasting our time right here. Or maybe we're actually not. Because I feel like my, Matt Ryan, like Matt Ryan swap, give him one last chance at a ring. Jalen Hurts, what else do we have? Third round pick from this year, please be enough. It's declined. Oh, you're really not going to be able to get Matt Ryan either. We have a first and third from there. Yeah, it's not going to be accepted, is it? Unless they don't want Jalen Hurts and we just do just draft picks, which I don't think is going to be the case. Yep, it's declined. We have 10 seconds. Like literally anybody at this point, Trevor Lawrence, Zach Wilson, Jared Goff. Like, do I get Jared Goff at this point? Cam Newton? Derek Carr? I'll try Derek Carr, but it's going to be declined, isn't it? Yeah, so we literally... That was, a, that was a waste. We started off hot, but that ended up being such a waste. So we ended up with Jalen Hurts, the starting quarterback. Well, like, this ended up, I think, actually was our worst rebuild we've done yet. It was just not great. But at the end of the day, like, we... They won... They won this. They made it to the Super Bowl in the last rebuild, so they should be able to make it to the Super Bowl now with a better team. We'll add Jarrell Casey, that defensive line. We'll also add in another corner. We'll do you know what? No, we'll get another, get another wide receiver. You now have Golden Tate. You have Devonta Smith and Julio Jones. There you go again. Another two teams that we didn't win a Super Bowl with that made it to the Super Bowl without our addition. So basically, this is telling us that I'm stupid. Did we at least win our division? No. This is gonna be so hard. This team is just not good, and there's there's so many holes. We only have four minutes. I love. I have always liked the Falcons because of Julio. So I'd love to get you a Super Bowl. Oh, boys. Like, I don't even know where to start. I've already wasted too much freaking time. Wide receivers. Everything's bad. Let's just, let's just, just go in for it. Let's go in for it. Let's try to get every old player I can possibly think of. Everybody. You know what? Cole Beasley, welcome to Atlanta. Let's get you for hopefully, hopefully, it's not a lot. Like, a third? Like, if a third we can get you, I'll, I'll be happy with that. I, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cole Beasley, thank you. Welcome to the squad. Centers. Plenty of centers we can get. Let's just go by team need for now. Let's get the oldest guys possible that just want to win right now. JC Treader, you want to start right away, don't you? You want to win a Super Bowl right away, don't you? Second round draft pick from next year was accepted. I probably could have got it from so much less, too. I don't know who's what. Like, who's not good and who doesn't take a lot to get. I don't know. We're just we're just doing everything we possibly can. To Davion Clowney, we're already here. We're already here. We're going to try to strip the Browns of the best players again. Was the second enough to get them? I can't remember. No, but it, it's not far off. Like, fifth and a fourth? Enough to get to Davion? Not quite. Do we have a third? Like, anybody we can trade away here? Like, we don't need for Daryl Patterson. It's accepted. Okay, bet. All right. Thank you. All right, next, go right tackle. Who's a good right tackle? Uh, you know what? I'm abusing it because this team is so bad. Brian Bulaga. It's just, like, I, it's so hard to keep these thoughts flowing in my head and remember all these players. I guess the Klein... Fifth and a six. Four, five, and six for Brian Balaga. That's the, seriously? Mom, what, what happened? I thought you were like very simple to work with here, LA. Six round pick, fourth and a fourth and a six. 
Like, it's just, like, you should already know what's going to happen at this point. Every time, I'm just going to waste time because I could have done one more thing, one more trade. If there was four freaking assets, I could, like, trade spots on each side. A minute 56 to go, bros. We still, like, I mean, I guess we're better already at this point. But, like, definitely not any youth that we've injected into this team. Who is a good D-tackle? Not going after you. We've already tried that. Point of Williams. Like, Brian, like, anybody, really. Christian Barmore, Jonathan Hankins, uh, Bra okay, you know what, you know what, you know what, I remember you now, you should be a blast to work with Baltimore for this trade, because that one was accepted, didn't even have to trade a fourth round pick for that one, we don't need a fullback, like, who needs a fullback, left guard, who is the next one, who's the next man, we have a minute, 15 seconds left to go, I think we're making good progress, Roger Saffold, like, a third from next year. Hopefully, this is enough to bring you in. And it is. Thank you. We still have a first left to go. So, still making good progress. Left outside linebacker. Didn't I already say Vaughn Miller? Did we get Vaughn Miller yet? 96 rated. Let's go. We'll have to trade away our first round draft. We've got 56 seconds to go. That's declined. But this is easily going to be accepted right here. We can trade away Tony for Vaughn Miller. Because all they needed was a freaking shaved pickle. And it's accepted. Vaughn Miller, now Falcon. We're actually putting in some work here. Right outside linebacker, we have one more first-round draft pick to trade for. And you know what? Actually, no. There's a good free agent out there. We need a free safety. Who's a good free safety that will come in and that's not going to break the bank here? I mean, we have plenty of cap room. That's not what I meant. Jimmy, like, Logan Ryan? Like, you're better than what we got, right? Who's our starting free safety? Yeah, Eric Harris. At the same time, you have Malik Cooker out there. Do I go for another position? Right, I, 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 okay, this is where I taught myself out of things. Um, let's just try to get somebody. I just screwed myself over for being a moron. Tight end, TJ Hawkinson. Like, I'm just trying to get somebody at this point. We still have a first round draft pick I'm about the waste. First and a six. We're going to submit this through. It was accepted. Okay, so it wasn't a complete waste. I know we didn't need a tight end, but he was just there. What I was trying to say was there was available free agents that fit the needs that we had, like KJ Wright. We need the right top, like right outside linebacker. He's coming in. Simple enough. Then also at free safety, you got ourselves Earl Thomas, who I think we've only signed once today. That we'll, we'll go ahead and get him. 82 rated. Should start for us. Better than the 74 that we got. And I think we actually did a great job there. Like teams up to an 80 rated. This is, I think, I know we traded for a lot of old players, but I think this is like the most proud I've been of the job I've done. Like, we might not actually make it anywhere with this team, but you know what? I, I still think I gave them a better shot than what they had previously. It's every time. Best believe, first thing we're doing here with the 49ers, getting a quarterback. I mean, I know Trey Lance is there, but I want somebody now, and you know exactly who that's about to be. We're about to go Green Bay Packers, trying to straight swap. Got them once today, gonna get them again. I know it's not gonna get through straight up, but like, you get what I'm saying. Like, we'll be able to throw in now, maybe that first will be enough for Aaron Rodgers this time. Wow, it's not. Hold the phone for a sec. I thought we got Aaron Rodgers today. I guess not. Yeah, we did, didn't we? Why was that so hard? How did we get him before? All right, so I guess we uh, we move along. How about Lamar? Lamar Jackson for Jim. We also throw in a first. Like, we're, like, this team is good. All we really need is a quarterback. But the problem is finding that quarterback right now. Russell Wilson? Like, yeah, that's like, we're, who? Why are they so hard to get now? Like, do I trade Ryan Dennell? Like, do I do this? And then try a first round pick? And then, like, start focusing on the rest of the team? And I know we got a 12 overall increase at quarterback. Is it second enough? Do I have to do two first? I'm gonna have to do two first, aren't I? That's insane. That is actually insane. When I mean, we still didn't get them. That's this is crazy. Are we really not gonna get anything to be accepted? Like Josh Allen? Like probably not. Yeah, not even close. Who do we even like Baker? Like, do I do a first? That's I don't even think this is gonna be accepted. What is what is going on? Why are these quarterbacks so hard to get right now? Alright, moving on. Tom? Did we get Tom again? That one was accepted. Like Okay, whatever, like, whatever. Like, just whatever, whatever, whatever. Move on. It's always offensive linemen, isn't it? Like, let's just, let's just get it out of the way again. It's RBT trading for offensive linemen for two hours. That's basically what this video is. But every team's number one need is offensive line. Like, what do you want me to do? So, can we trade a second? We have nothing else to trade away. Thank God this team is already good. 
So we actually need a right guard. So I, I don't even like think we have enough to get anybody decent anymore. So we have to maybe target a mid 80s guy. Like who's a good mid 80s guy that we actually target here? I mean, maybe all we really did need was a quarterback to be good, but we will still try to improve as much as possible. I mean, Kevin, hopefully will be better than what we have. Fourth and a fifth, hopefully is enough. It's declined, hopefully the sixth is enough to just get out of here, get ourselves our right guard. We got him. Now we need ourselves a corner and a right outside linebacker. Have we got a right outside linebacker today? I don't know who we currently have an outside linebacker, but apparently we need some. Bud Dupree from my Titans? But like, is this, is he hard to get? Second round pick for the Bud Dupree. And okay, he's not hard to get, obviously. All right, fair play. We need a cornerback. Why is quarterback still our number one team need? Pat Pete, like adding a veteran to the secondary for not much. Like this should be enough to get old Patrick, right? For the fifth, it was accepted. That was once again, easier than what I expected. So it also saying we need a left outside linebacker. Who could we get here? Anthony Barr, Khalil Mack. That would be great if we get Khalil Mack on this team. Von Miller is not going to work. Shaq Barrett, we have 45 seconds. Chandler Jones, what about you? You're such a high-rated player. Second round pick for next year? All right, we might actually have something going here. Second, seventh, third. Do we have any, like, running back that they might want? Like Wayne Goldman or Trey Sermon? You don't want them, do you? Oh, no. What do we, what do, we do now? Left outside linebacker. We gotta try to get one before this timer goes out. 15 seconds. Literally anybody? Josh Allen's too good. I, I think we're screwed. Jamie Collins, maybe? If we... Okay. All we have to do... Don't choke this. Four seconds. Four seconds. Two seconds. I think I got that through 100%. Jamie Collins, welcome to San Francisco. We're an 83 rated now. We do need to add ourselves... Mitchell Swartz, we needed a right tackle. Like, we'll just go ahead and throw him in the starting lineup. And then last but not least, like, we'll just bring him back. Like, it just makes sense, doesn't it? It's just every time, different teams that we've used and didn't win the Super Bowl with. Another team that needs themselves a starting quarterback. And that's what we're going to focus on. Is there any team that wants Daniel Jones? I mean, why would they? Probably not. It's just, it's just unfortunate, isn't it? Like, because it's just so hard now to trade for quarterbacks, which fair play, I guess that makes sense. But still, like, I just want to get somebody that's not going to break the bank and not waste all our time. Like, even if I have to trade my first round pick for him, I got to get somebody better. Like, do they want Daniel Jones at all? Like, will we at least help the deal out some? Okay, thank you. Like, I know everybody, there's a lot of people that still underrate this man, but this is better than what we have right now, at least in terms of Madden. Welcome, Ryan and the hill now our wide receiver core sick wide receivers great we have obviously saquon's healthy good tight ends just i, I hate it we gotta focus on line making every time like i don't know what you guys really want for me like when their team needs are, are lying what do we need to do get a freaking kicker when it says defensive line is a free get offensive lines the team need so let's once again just be smart about this fourth round pick. Roger Saffold was accepted. I'm literally not purposely going back and forth to the same exact players. It just happens. Um, Brian O'Neill, I want at least to get an 80 rated right tackle. It just always ends up happening like this every single time. Like, I know, I know, I know. Like, how many right tackles really is there realistically out there, man? So we'll throw in another six. Hopefully this is enough. No, it's not. Like, this is, okay, that's a little bit. I'm trying to lowball too much. So we will do a fourth and a fifth and then a seventh from next year. Try to keep everything else declined again. Do I just go with a third from next year? Hopefully this is enough. Don't want to do my third from this year for Brian. That's declined. Now I think we should be able to throw like a six and then maybe a six from next year. And let's get ourselves our starting right tackle. There's a lot of centers. It's been rare that we actually needed a center. I think we've only done it like two or three times today. But let's be smart about it. Ryan Kelly from the Colts. I don't quite know if he's a guy you can get like easily, but we'll try. Third round pick for Ryan Kelly. Yeah, not even remotely close. I noticed the centers are harder to get than guards, which I, I don't get that. Brandon Linder or Alex Mack? Alex Mack should like a third. Or a fourth next year? I, I don't quite know. A minute and 30 seconds left to go. Declined. It's nothing. If we... Oh, we really don't have anything else than, like, thirds. So we'll do just the third. 
for Alex Mack. It's the client, but we can only have to use a draft pick. We can use a freaking, like, backup corner or something. Or Monter Horteje. He's now traded as we got ourselves another new offensive lineman, new starting center. Now we need left tackle. But yeah, another freaking left tackle, bro. Minute left to go. How many offensive linemen can you freaking... Like, why does every team need a freaking offensive lineman? Every single rebuild. Like, do we go after, like, an Orlando Brown type? Do we still have a first? We have a second. I don't know if this is enough. Okay, yeah, it was enough. We got ourselves Orlando Brown. I'm going to get myself a middle linebacker. That's what we need. Like, he's never a wide receiver or a running back or something. He's always, like, line every single time. McKinney? He seems like he could be a nice little fit here. Since we, we still have a second from next year. Try this one. Declined. But a seventh. And then our fourth. Is this enough? Please. No. Instead of the seventh, can we throw in like that? Didn't we have a decent backup? Julian Love? Submit it. Welcome, McKinney, to the Giants. We need a free safety, but like, I, I don't have time. Like, I think we all can agree to the fact I don't have time. We'll go and get ourselves two free agents. We need a free safety and a right outside linebacker. Already got two guys in my head that we're going to go after. Obviously, we're the eight millionth time. Hopefully, not back to back. KJ Wright feels a need for us. A veteran, nice linebacker to add to the squadron. Last but not least, we do need another free safety. So we just traded away one of our safeties. We'll grab Malik Hooker again. We'll get him, I think, for the second time today. Isn't this like the 74th time we've seen this matchup today? Like, it's boring at this point. We went 6-10. and 10. What an awful stretch. I have to go Giants, Jags, Jets, and Lions before I can get back to a good team in the Packers. I promise you, if anything, I'm at least try my absolute greatest, but we might not succeed here today. More than likely, probably won't with the Jags, but we'll try. Carlos Hyde. Uh, why why doesn't anybody at least have yellow interest? You're a running back. That's weird. Now I do have a feeling somebody, there's got to be somebody that has green interest in you, right? Got to be. Everybody has yellow. Left in. Go straight after a left in. We at least try to, we'll, we'll just go by team need this time. Let's Stefan to it. Didn't we already try to get him when he was relatively, I, I'm looking for somebody that just a veteran, do a job. Jeffrey Simmons. I, I said veteran. Oh, wow. Okay. He's not a veteran. Like, that's easier than some veterans. Okay. Uh, fourth, maybe? Added into the deal on top of Gardner Minshew. All right. Jeffrey Simmons, one of my favorite Titans players. Uh, he's going to be a superstar. Already pretty much a superstar for, for Gardner Minshew. All right. Um, I, I'll take that, I guess. I didn't expect it, but I'm here for it. Tight end position. Now, what tight end can we go after? We have yet to really trade for anybody other than Gronk. But I want to be smart. Austin Hooper will try to stay away from Gronk. Jared Cook? I mean, he could be a decent plug and fill option for what this team wants right now. We'll do, like, we'll just test the waters here. Okay, I like the fact that I tested the waters because this is going to be so easy. We can throw in a guy named Daniel Thomas, 66 rated, and welcome in our starting tight end. All right, now this is where things get boring tight end or the uh right tackle position for the 8,000th time um <laughs> he was there he was there just like give me a break third round pick let's welcome brian and get that over with you guys have seen it for the 8,000th time now i'm obviously not going to get a quarterback we need to get a obviously a wide receiver too it says now right end who can we get here frank clark's a good one maybe grady Jarrett, nick bosa what about first for nick bosa we have the number one overall pick. It's declined. Maybe we actually can work something out here. Any cornerbacks you want from me, San Francisco? You want Trey Herndon? You want CJ Henderson? You kind of want Herndon a little bit. It's accepted. Welcome, Nick Bosa, to the squad, boys. Big one. Now, wide receiver, let's get ourselves an absolute monster right here. Devontae Adams. It, it's gonna happen, boys. I have a trade away. Let's do. Let's see if they want Philip Dorsett. Maybe they don't. They want Laviska. Like he's. A, I like Laviska, but the Packers obviously don't. Okay. All right. So we'll just do the number one overall pick, and it was accepted for Devontae Adams. A minute left to go, and we are building an absolute super squad, my dudes. Now we still have some draft picks to trade away. Let's just, let's take their other one. Uh, Preston Smith, we need outside linebacker. Let's take another player from the Packers. Let's do a second. 
see if this is enough it was accepted oh boys this has been fantastic now the left tackle position we need a, we probably can get a star here who is that ronnie stanley if we trade the number one overall projected pick for next year this might actually go through huh it's declined but do a little add a little sugar and spice to it like a third rounder from next year and this one is going to also be declined it's always so anticlimactic how about a backup Josh Jones? How about you? Are you enough? We have 25 seconds. But the free safety position? Oh, I don't want to trade away Andrew Wingard. Okay, I might be I might be choking this. I actually might be choking this. Hold on. Draft pick. Draft pick. Let's do a fifth. This should be enough, right? Fifth. Oh no. Eight seconds. We have okay, we have a third from next year. This should be. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I got it off with one second. I got it off with one second. I got it off with one second. Get out of here. That stressed me out so much. I would have been so sad. But we just made the Jags an 87 rated offense, which need, means we need to upgrade the defense. I'm just going to sign the two highest rated defensive guys. Because this team was literally the worst team in the league last year. You expect me to make them Super Bowl contenders in four minutes? If that's the case, dude, I actually need to sign an NFL contract with some organization to have some sort of role. Well, I accidentally simmed to free agency. We went 12-4, and four, but did we win the Super Bowl? I have no clue. Like, I really hope I get surprised here, and we did, but I highly doubt that's actually going to be the case, and why is it the Bears versus Bears? Yeah, dude, again, the Browns versus the Seahawks. Like, nobody cares anymore. At least with the Jets, I don't have to worry about getting a quarterback. So, <laughs> right tackle, it's, I mean, there's not one. There's not one rebuild we've done so far where one of the top team needs has not been right tackle. Why don't teams draft right tackles when they're your biggest position of need? It's stressing me out. So we have a bunch of first. I just want to, you know, heat check here. Second rounder, see what's available. Okay, they're going to definitely want a first. First for Ryan Ramchick. Oh, no. Maybe go with another option. It's like, why would I trade for Ryan when I can get Brian Bulaga for a third? You get what I'm saying? That's why I do the same players over and over and over and over and over again. Trent Brown, maybe a second rounder. We're, gonna have to, like, we're not going to do well with this Jets team. I can already freaking tell. First rounder for Trent Brown, still not enough. How about a third? We have two thirds at least and a fourth. Submit it. Of course, it's declined. A minute in, can we at least get our first player here, man? Second round pick from next year's except that we get our starting right tackle. Now, moving on to right outside linebacker. Then we need to try to get ourselves a tight end again. We're not obviously going to get a quarterback. Let's get ourselves an 85-plus rated right outside linebacker that shouldn't break the bank. Or at least like an 82. You know what? Bradley Chubb. I, I, he, he could be extremely hard to get, I, for all I know. We'll try a second round pick, though. Oh, Bradley Chubb, welcome to the Jets, where I now have a Chubb myself. Because all it's going to take is something very simple for you to come in, like a third from next year. Hopefully, will be enough to steer you here to the Jets. It is. Bradley Chubb, welcome. Now, tight end time, and then we get to go after guards again. You know what? Since we're here, like, why don't I, like, try this? I, have I tried to get Von Miller today? I can never remember. Okay, he's like he's hard to get now for some reason. He's Von Miller, like that's why. What am I? What do I mean? So tight end position. What do we get here? Now I don't want to get. Oh, Travis Kelsey. Like, can you trade a first for you? Is this a thing? Okay, Travis Kelsey. Welcome to New York. Personality would fit out like fit out here in New York. We probably throw a six, six in from next year. This should be enough, right? Yeah, it's accepted. We have one of the best tight ends in the game. The best tight end. He's a 99. Now, moving along to the boring positions. Let's get them out of the way. And we might, like, we have Elijah Vera Tucker at right guard. So we really don't need a right guard. So we really just need a left guard. And then maybe spend the last time getting somebody else. I mean, Joe Thune, like, he, he's exactly like, I mean, he'd be fine here. 84 rated better than the 73. What we got? Third round pick for Joseph declined. What else we got? Do I just do I just get rid of the first from next year? Like, do I just do this? Accept it, okay, I mean, it, it didn't waste time. Take that. All right, what do we need now? Oh, we could use a solid running back, but really, who could we get? We have 50 seconds left to go. Just trying to I mean, make the team as good as possible at this point. Like a James Robinson type? 
Like, what about him? Who do we have? Tevin Coleman. Yeah, we for sure can do better than that. Like, is a third enough to get James Robinson? Yeah, probably not because he's so young. But a first from next year. 30 seconds to go. Okay, well, that, that was simple. So, uh, we just we had 30 seconds, really, to trade away a third-round pick for really, oh, I know exactly who I'm going after because I want to get as good as possible, obviously. Look at this man. Dante Hightower, for like, what, the third time today? Welcome to New York. Do I try something else? Like, do I even... I don't think I even have anything. Like, who, who could this possibly get me? A freaking, like, a pack of pork rinds or something? Kyle Van Noy, maybe? Probably not. Oh, no. Seven seconds. I'll be so sad. Oh, we have nobody. Like, we have no... Our secondary is horrible. Oh, my. So, uh, we definitely need to use our two free agents on the top two. Probably a free safety and a corner. So... We've used Richard Sherman too many times. We'll go back to Steven Nelson. 81 rated. It's going to be better than what we have. And last but not least, for the 8,000th time today, sign ourselves old veteran Earl Thomas to this secondary because, by God, we freaking need it. I give up, bro. Bro, I don't know if five hours could help me with the freaking Detroit Lions. I really don't even know where to start. Like, my brain's already just, whoo, just flaccid. All right, left in Akeem Hicks. Like, what are we going to do here? Third, like, is that too much for you? Probably. My brain at this point flaccid. Um, just like my pecker. Moving along the Bengals. So, who do we have at running back in Detroit now? Detroit's made some funky moves here. Jamal Williams, DeAndre Swift. I mean, we do got a rookie. I kind of want to get rid of Jamal Williams if we can. If we can find somebody that has green interest, you're not going to have green interest, are you? You probably don't have one player anybody wants because the Lions are in complete rebuild mode. So it's all about just trying our best here. Um, Let's go to a team. Who is the team that does have quite a few old folks that I might be able to get a decent return on? Like, what if we did something like Darius Slay, Lane Johnson, and... Like, who is one other guy? Like, do we just add in Brandon Graham, too? Like, is this where something like a trade, like a second round pick, can get all three of these guys? Maybe that's the only, like, that's the only way we can make something positive happen here in Detroit. Like, let's try to use our time wisely. So, a second, I want to keep this first from this year. How about a second and a first from next year? That one was accepted. I'll take it. Three players? Three players? Okay, okay, okay. Let's keep that same kind of mindset here. So, let's, Falcons don't have anybody I'm interested in. Like, do I go Alex Mack? Do I go Raheem Mostert? Do I go Jason Verrett? Do I try this? Like, is that not good enough? Like, a second and third from next year? I'm going to try it. All right, so uh, three more players we added. So, this is definitely maybe the move moving forward. We've got six players so let's let's just keep on moving keep on moving slow down breathe a few times relax wide receiver do we bring marvin jones back now we'll actually uh, marcus may Quinn williams it's dj mosley for the first our first round pick three good players it's accepted okay see that that's so that's actually smart i think maybe that's what we do going forward but the only problem is we, we don't have any draft picks now. So let, let's 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 just let's just, just calm down, calm down, breathe. Everything's gonna be okay. We've done good, done good here. We can do better. Still have plenty of time. We just, we gotta go like the ultimate old of old players here, like the absolute oldest, Kevin Zeitler. Like was a fourth enough for you? No, but we'll be able to throw. We'll be able to save some stuff. A seven and a six would be enough to get around for Kevin. Declined actually, so that seven needs to turn into a six from this year. And now let's welcome Kevin to the squad. Left guard time. Are there any like really old left guards that can be good for me? I need you to be like 37, preferably. Oh, for the tenth time probably today. Do we have enough really? Fourth and a fifth? Is that enough for you, Roger? Your name is Roger, of course it is, dude. Free safety. Any older free safety out there in the universe I could add to the squad? Eddie, J the Ed Jesse's 23. I didn't realize you. He feels like he's been around for so long. Anybody here, bro. I'll take a 94-year-old. Anthony Harris. I mean, I doubt it, but like we're at the point, like, why not just try fifth and a seventh for Anthony? It's declined. That's actually close. Okay. All right. Are we actually going to get Anthony? We need a free safety bad i didn't realize it was that bad so jamal williams 
added in the deal. Welcome to the squad. All right, there's there's no way we're gonna get anybody else, but that was solid. Like, we're still not going to win the Super Bowl. If we do, I will be impressed. But with that, we'll just sign the best two players because we still are going to suck because we're the Lions. This is stupid. Like, this is so stupid. Green Bay Packers, 86-rated team, so they only get the two-minute timer. We start it. We're just going to make the offense good. That's all we're going to focus on. We're just going to be way too extra Going back, like, I just thought about how crazy this connection would really be. Julio Jones and Devontae Adams. Oh, my God. This would be historic. So, if we throw in, like, A.J. Dillon. Do they even want A.J. Dillon in a second? Is this enough for Julio Jones? It's declined. But it'd be worth it, I think, to throw in our second from next year to have this be accepted. It's declined again. So, do I just do my first? Just get that out of the way? Like, just get Julio Jones? I think it's worth it. Declined? Is it really this much for Julio? All right. That's that's crazy. Um, I didn't think it was that much for Julio Jones, but I guess uh, we, we keep on moving along. Third round draft pick from next year. Let's not welcome Julio. Hey, maybe I don't need to get Julio. Wow, we've already wasted half our time. All right, that that's just, that's not good. Adam Thielen, okay, okay, okay. All right, let's be more realistic here. Adam Thielen, fourth rounder, fifth rounder, sixth rounder. Welcome to nowhere. All right, third, we, we gotta, I gotta stop troll. We have 50 seconds left to go. Oh my God, 50 seconds left to go. Second round draft pick. Adam declined again. We have, we're gonna have 40 seconds, 40 seconds to get something done. Accepted finally. This is, this is an absolute travesty. An absolute freaking travesty. I'm just trying to like try to get everybody possible. First round pick, Lil Mac. Trade like you're not gonna be accepted. I'm trying to I'm just, I'm trying to get as many players as I can. Tredavious White for a first round draft pick. Not accepted. Alright, alright, fair play. Micah High, 26 seconds. I'm really only gonna get one player in trades. Micah High we might get. Third rounder, just get it over with. Submit it. Declined again. Oh, this has been a rough one. This has been a rough go about. All right, we have 10 seconds. We literally have 10 seconds to try to get one more player. I'm bringing Von Miller. We have eight seconds to go. We have a first and a second from next year with a fifth. That's going to be declined. And I, I we're, we're screwed, aren't we? We're screwed. I'm going to just, like, I can't even lie and, like, try to get that off. So we literally got two players. That is so unfortunate. Yes, I know. We get to add two players. But that had so much potential. Like, I don't know why it just felt so hard to get Julio. We're going to get the best two players. Actually, let's add let's add another offensive lineman, David DeCastro. I'm sure we probably needed to get a guard or something there. But, like, this is, I think, one of my best chances left to win a Super Bowl. We're an 89-rated team, bro. Like, give me a break, EA. I'm taking a real break after this one. But give me, an, like, a break so I don't have to give away more money. Yep, that's enough for me for now. We win 9-7 with a what-rated team? A 95 offense? EA having an absolute stinker. Six hours and a bad migraine later. Here we are, Carolina Panthers. We've got to win one more Super Bowl, bro. One more. We have 12 teams left to go. I can't fail by one. Sam Darnold, I know you're going to be the QB. Maybe of the future, at least for this year, but, like, not for this rebuild. We've got to have somebody better than a 70 overall. Like, who are we going to take off your hands? Do we just take, uh, do we take Trent Williams? Because we need a left tackle. Submit this through. Like, this is hard, dude. Like, what, do we even trade a second for Trent Williams? Like, is this enough? Not even close. Is this where we also throw in a first-round pick? Maybe next year's first-round pick? Throw it in there. Barely decline. Let's just throw in a crappy, like, 65-rated strong safety in that. Like, I now know that that is what we need to get is a strong safety because we literally have a 66-rated that is starting, and we, we can't, they won't even accept the trade. Kenny Robinson, I'm just wasting time at this point. Like, why don't I just throw in a draft pick? We need to go get a strong safety. That's like immediately what we're doing here after we trade away uh, Sam Darnold in a first and get Trent Williams, our new left tackle. What strong safety are we gonna get? Let's get, let's, let's try to go big here. I don't think we've got a big 90 something rated strong safety. I don't even know who, who is the highest rated strong safety. Is it Harrison Smith? Is it Jamal Adams? Let's just go Jamal Adams real quick because he's right there. What will it take to bring in the man? Like, let's do a second, test things out real quick. It wasn't accepted, but a first is intriguing because what if we also try to take in, like, uh, what's, what's a good little player we can add? Maybe a Gerald Everett? Do we have any good tight ends? Let me try this. 
it's declined, but barely, barely, barely. So we're going to throw in once again, let's just get out of here, throw in a seventh round draft pick from next year. Let's add Jamal Adams and Gerald Everett to the squad. Now, once again, they need right guard. Like, I know in the video, we have gotten a lot of people, but, like, I'm not going to remember who we kept getting because it was six hours ago. My brain hurts at this point. Let's see. Who is a good right guard? I don't think we have what it takes to get Zach Martin. Brandon Brooks, I'll stray away from him. Shaq Mason, did we go after Shaq Mason at this point? I feel like I've tried everybody. Brandon Scherf, what about you, brother? How about a third for you? Is that going to be enough? Not even close. Maybe that's why I get Kevin Zietler every freaking time. Gabe Jackson, like he's somebody we haven't got 80 rated, might not cost too much. Fourth round pick, we only have a minute 20 left to go. That's not like a good way I'm spending my time. Okay, so we're gonna get them like maybe I could have got better. We have a minute left to go though. Like I'm just trying my best here, dudes. So middle linebacker is what we need to fill the void. Luke Keekley, Bobby Wagner, the Wagster. Is this, is he a guy you can get nowadays? Yes, he is. Okay, that's noted moving forward. All right, that's nice to know. Fourth rounder as well. We're going to get ourselves a Bobby freaking Wagner just like this, my dudes. Bobby Wagner, our new starting middle linebacker here. Now, we need a right outside linebacker. That's the next thing we need. We also need an outside, we, we need a left guard too. We could sign one though, not the biggest deal. Do I get Bud Dupree again for my Titans? I think he was he was pretty easy to get first time around, right? Like maybe a second rounder from next year's enough to get him. It was accepted, so all we need right now to fill every hole is a left guard. We had 26 seconds to get one. Like I know, I know, it just it just worked out, man. It's important I just get myself a left guard, fourth and the fifth from next year. It's accepted. I have 16 seconds left. Like I don't know what I can get with 16 seconds, but we can try something. Like anybody, Akeem Hicks. We we have nine seconds. I'm gonna throw something out there to the universe. A six is six. We have a QB. Oh, Philip. Oh no, we just had an absolute stinker. I forgot to get a quarterback. I am the dumbest person alive. So I guess what we have to do is go and sign a QB out of free agency. I completely messed up on that one. That's my mistake. Best QB out there is Nick Mullen, 68 rated. All right, that's just great. We also, let's just get the best player available. Who, Mitchell Schwartz, or do we go Melvin Ingram? Let's help out the defense a little bit. Yeah, I wasn't expecting anything. Packers, Chiefs, and oh, hilarious. Didn't I just do the Packers last? Went 10 and 6. I guess that's sort of impressive. And the Patriots. I know it says their number one needs a quarterback, but I think I'm just going to stick with Cam because it's just so hard to get some of these quarterbacks. I know what I'm going to do. Yep, I know I've traded for him twice, three times. Wearing his jersey again. And they were linked to get them in real life. Like, there was a possibility. So, like, give me a break, dude. First round pick for Julio. It's the Klein, but we might not even have to throw another draft pick. Probably, like, I mean, we have some backups that we actually can trade away here, too. Jawan Williams, this should be enough. Be accepted. Welcome Julio Jones to the New England Patriots. Good thing here is we have a lot of stuff we can trade away. Like, a lot of decent guys, like Nikhil Harry Marvin Hall. There's got to be one team out there that could be sort of interested in Nikhil Harry, right? I didn't quite know he's a 73 rated. Now, Jacoby Myers, on the other hand, he's 75. So, like, you got to be kidding me. Not one team wants him. All right, big bet then, I guess. All right, so defensive end, we have... We have a young, some some decent young players here. I mean, we're, we're pretty loaded. Like, Adrian Phillips, like, do we trade you away? Does anybody have green interest in you? Or do I just start throwing out draft picks in the universe? So, like, looks like nobody has green interest in him. I'm already a minute and 15 seconds in. We could use a feature running back, too. Which means we could we can afford to get rid of one of these guys. So, a lot of teams want Sony Michelle. Fair. You know what? Can we do, like, a trade? Like, oh, Richie Incognito. Like, I, he probably would be a higher rated guy than who we currently have. Josh Jacobs added in the deal as well. I'm very intrigued on this. If we do like a second, I just want to see where this is, like how close. Like halfway to going through. If we also threw in a first as well, is this a possibility? It was accepted. Richie Incognito and Josh Jacobs. Welcome to the New England Patriots. A Georgia running back for another Alabama player. Another Alabama running back for the Patriots. 
Now, another one, I don't think there's ever been one, but like, you get what I'm saying, another Alabama player for the Patriots, that's a running back, I'm wasting time, like, who really cares, we need defensive ends, though, and the first guy I can think of that's just a Patriot, like, I, it would fit perfectly, now a Cardinal, where's he at, where's Mr. Watt, where's the JJ man, 95 rated, we have plenty of time to try to work something out here, third and a fourth for JJ Watt, declined, he's only a two-star that they value him at, I don't know why, maybe I guess his age, Damian Harris, or James White, either of these guys intrigue you, James does a little bit, now they do also want to write in, we have, we could sign Melvin Ingram, we, but they don't care, they don't want him, of course they don't, right tackle, we could sign Mitchell Schwartz, they need to start using that, oh Trent Brown, like he's so solid, but like if that means I can bring in JJ Watt, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sign, I'm just gonna sign Mitchell Schwartz. To me to climb. I think that that's a smart little bit of business to try to get that freaking Super Bowl finally. Let's throw in a fourth, throw in that fifth. Welcome, JJ. Actually, don't welcome him just yet. Like if we throw this in now, hopefully this will welcome him. Oh, just like get out of here. That's wasted so much time today. Go ahead, throw in that fifth. Just like I like get out of here, dude. Like, come on, give me a break for once today. The this is absolute insanity, dude. This this has got to be. This has got to be somebody at EA just freaking messing with my ball sack. This is actually unbelievable at this point. I don't even know what we need. Another defensive end, I guess. I guess we can try and get one more. We have 20 seconds to go. It's probably not going to happen, especially at the rate things have been going today. 15 seconds. Like, I don't even know who to get. I, I have no clue. Grady Jarrett, Nick Bosa. We don't have the draft picks for him. Like, I need somebody that's old. And easy to get Trey Flowers, like, I have six seconds. Like, what, what do you want me to do with six seconds? Nothing. Third round pick and a fourth. Oh, we actually got that deal off. That is actually insane at the buzzer. So, you guys heard me. We're going in. We're getting ourselves a right tackle. We could have signed Melvin Ingram, too. We might. We just got Trey Flowers. So I don't get the point here. Maybe we just add another linebacker to the squad. Or maybe add, like, really, what can we add? Like, can, do, I don't even know if KJ Wright will start for us. Boys, not trying to stress out or anything, but it looks like your new England Patriots is trying to complete the challenge and save me some money. Take it on the Cowboys. We ended up 13-3 and three on the season. I'm just advancing. Like, we're 13-3. and three. They went 10-6. and six. Like, don't make this so anticlimactic. Come on, let's get the challenge over with. And, like, I just knew it. Guys, you're gonna kill me. Look at their three needs, bro. They need offensive linemen. Not my fault. Blame the freaking NFL. Or at least blame the freaking franchise mode for saying every team need is an offensive lineman. Let's get a center real quick. JC Treader. We're the Raiders this time, obviously. And I don't quite know what I need. I really don't ever know what I like to do in life at all, really, in every aspect. But in this particular instance, I'm talking about this rebuild with the Raiders. Because they have some holes, for sure. Let's just get that. Even the top 14 needs were all offensive linemen. What do they do? Have a bunch of paper plates back there? Jack Conklin, Tristan Wirth. Who, I like, you just, I, I don't care. I don't care what you think, honestly. A fourth and a seventh. I, I forget, like, what he costs, but hopefully, yep, of course, it's not going to be accepted. Almost a minute in. Let's just get out of here. Fourth round pick and then a third from next year. Just give me Brian. Let's, like, get, let's get this over with. I think now, like, a four, uh, I don't know, a fifth from next year or a fourth from next year should be enough. Let's welcome Brian to Las Vegas. Next now, what do you know, the left guard position. Like, is, how bad is their, like, offensive line really? Like, how, why is it so bad? Quentin Nelson. Like, is he still somebody you can get? Why do we even need a left guard? We have Richie Incognito. No, we need a right I mean, I guess you could play right guard. Like, what do I mean? So, I guess let's hear. Just try a draft pick, I guess. Second rounder for Quentin Nelson. Okay, maybe they actually fixed him. I don't want to use my first on him. I mean, I know he's good and all, but, like, I, I want to use it on a non-offensive lineman. Unless I'm going to get Zach Martin. I gotta use, get Zach Martin. I wouldn't mind using my first. Let's try to use our first from next year. And, oh, okay. All right, I see you playing hardball, Dallas. I mean, you beat me in the Super Bowl last time around. So, like, I could have had the challenge done, been confident. But, no, you had to ruin everything. So, we're still trying to get an offensive guard. Like, boring, boring. Brandon Brooks, just, like, leave Philadelphia. Like, just make this easy on me a second. Is that enough? Of course it's not, but... 
Like, I think a first is too much. Maybe this is another ordeal where I get, like, two players in one and just trade the first instead. It's so, like, Brandon, like, can I get Fletcher Cox? Like, can I get Jason Kelsey, too? I don't, I, I have, don't have the answer to that. Like, look at all three of these players here. That's going to be insane, dude. Not even close. We'll take out Jason Kelsey because we don't even need a center. Declined again. Maybe it's Fletcher Cox that's so hard to get here. Let's take them out. Oh, did he slay again? Brandon Graham, potentially, to play on the end. What is the move? We do need a free safety, so I take an Anthony Harris. Like, that's three quality players that I might be able to get for next year's first instead of this this year's. Submit it through. Oh, wow. Harder than what I thought. So, how about just the first instead from this year? It's green interest. We're getting there. So, about the second and a fifth. How about this? Decline. Would we put in, like, a backup running back or something? Put in Jalen Richard? Does this pique your interest? Was accepted. Thank you. 54 seconds to go. We still have our first round draft pick from next year to try and use in a deal. I just need to try and get somebody like good ASAP. Outside linebacker, somebody we're looking for. Miles Jack, maybe. Ooh, we maybe. Who, who's somebody? Who's somebody? I, like, this is where my brain just really stops, to, like, stops working. Like, I'm curious. And it's, I, I, it was just curious because it never worked. The, the trade didn't work. I, I need an outside linebacker, and I don't know who to get at this point. Cameron Jordan? Demario Davis? Like, do I just add you because I know you're easy to get? Like, not I didn't waste this last 45 seconds blabbering. All right, go ahead, throw in this seventh. Demario Davis, welcome to Las Vegas. We literally have nine seconds to go. I, I still have, like, I still have my first. I'm just going to try to get somewhere after the Seahawks. Bobby Wagner, I know I'm going to be able to get him. Oh, no, it's declined. Oh, that would have been great. That would have been great. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. We're only an 81 rated. Since we were, since I was just trying to get some defensive players, like, I, I'm just trying to get that Super Bowl win. Let's just get the best players possible. Some defensive players out of this squad. Richard Sherman lets you come to Las Vegas, hopefully win you another Super Bowl. I really hope so. At least I've done neither of those teams yet. Ravens and Saints are coming soon. We went 8-8. Eight and eight. Like, I just want to win one more. The thing is, though, these teams remaining are so good. Like, the Rams are such a good team. If we can add them some firepower at wide receiver and the first guy i'm thinking of i'm gonna go crazy off the get-go we're gonna get Devonte adams i'm gonna do whatever it takes to add Devonte adams to this wide receiver core actually i might not we don't have a first round pick okay it's gonna be tougher than what i thought you want deshaun jackson you don't <laughs> don't blame me he's an 81 though i i, I guess i i can't get Devonte adams like i wanted to unless they'll take a first from next year like that's already gonna be traded away have our freaking assets Decline. So, yeah, that was wishful thinking. So, let's go linebacker. They need a linebacker. First guy I'm thinking of, maybe we'll get him instead. We tried to get him to end off the last speed rebuild. Get him here. We're going to go to none other than Bob Wagner. Do we... Who is our safety? Hold on. Let's actually try to do something crazy here. Who is our starting strong safety? Terrell Burgess... We don't have any quality safeties, really. So, what is something they need to like? What do we? What can we trade them? Do we have any good left ends? Ashawn Robinson, Aaron Donald, any good offensive linemen? I would be willing to trade away. Not really. I know I'm wasting so much time here, but we'll just we'll just get Bobby Wagner. I was gonna try to get Jamal Adams as well in this deal. Let's just throw out the first from next year. Was this enough, or did we have to? It was accepted. Okay, I probably got got Jamal Adams there too, but whatever. Offensive lineman. We need like they, the offensive line was actually pretty brutal, so we will try to get one or two. Like I'm, I'll try to get somebody different here. Like at least some of these teams that I'm doing, like la like the last part of the alphabet for NFL teams in alphabetical order. Like you know what I mean. Um, they're, they're decent. Like, they're decent teams that could give me a shot better than, like, some of the stretches we've had. Okay, that was so much further away than what I thought to be an accepted. Second round pick. All right, let's move on. Too hard to get you. Ali Marpet, I've tried, and you're really hard to get. That's why I keep going after the same guys. Like, Quentin Nelson, we probably need a first round pick for you. Joe Thune? That's declined, but, like, I mean, we'll take you. Six and a seventh? I don't quite think this is going to be enough, is it? I'm just wasting time again. Let's just get the draft picks out of here. Let's go with a third from next year. This one should be accepted. Welcome to L.A. Joseph. Now, we could use another defensive end on the other side of Aaron Donald, but who's a good fit? Demarcus Lawrence, I'm looking at you off the get-go. 
But the question is, as always, it is for everybody. What is it going to take, brother? Third and a second? Okay, so I probably could have just traded the third and got him. Like, how was I supposed to know? So now we really don't have much we can trade away. So I got to get somebody really, really cheap. Unless one of our running backs could go in a deal somewhere. Daryl Henderson at wide receiver? There's, there's got to be somebody out there. He's an 81. I know he's on the older side. Not one team? Okay, let's get out of that. How about Daryl Henderson? Is there anybody? I know there's a lot of yellow interest. And maybe we could bring in a right guard with yellow interest. Maybe we could, even though we don't have any more draft picks left. Like, anybody over 80-something. We need a right guard. 80, like, let's go for an 83 at least. Try to do a straight-up swap. Zach Martin obviously would be nice, but it's not even going to be close. Anybody. I'd even take Elijah Vera Tucker. Uh, Shaq Mason? I, I, I'm going to try. Straight up swap. I mean, potential, maybe. What, what what picks do we have? Oh, no. Not even close, bro. What was, what was I thinking? So that's the client. I, I got to get a right guard. I got to. Like, even if it's Kevin. I'll take Kevin at this point. Maybe I can just get straight up. I mean, it doesn't matter. We'll, we'll get him. I mean, 83 rated. There's no way I'm having another trade go through. I guess we can be smart here with how I sign these free agents. We need to add a little bit to our linebacker course. A little thin. So... Let's go. Have we signed a middle linebacker yet at our free agency? I don't remember if we have or not. Avery Williamson, we'll add him. Nice, nice little depth player. Could do a job at the linebacker core. And then Quan Alexander. We've we've already it was first time I think we've signed him. Maybe second. A little fresh. A little fresh. Like, dude, am I a joke to you or something? Once again, Packers make it after not making it the entire video. Make it twice in a row after I use them. So we went. Hey, again i'm telling you wait where's where's my face this really might be my last good chance ravens thank god they were 83 rated so i get the full four minutes and once again i'm gonna go after a wide receiver i'm gonna see this time around can i bring in Devonte adams imagine him in this offense oh my god so it is gonna take a first round pick but i'm not sure we have like the dead last first pick and that's like that's so bad and so unfortunate so let's let's get ourselves a wide receiver though let's make sure we get one like a robbie anderson kind of type but i don't know what he's gonna cost like just some quality number one receiver 87 overall come on robert decline oh i think i know a guy we have yet to get i think i tried to get him early and i said i'll get him eventually oh yeah i forgot they're out of alphabetical order terry mclaurin is this enough for you no but i like the potential running back I don't mind trading away Gus Edwards. They're probably going to want him, and they are. It is so close. Let's welcome Kerry McLaurin to Baltimore as our number one receiver. Now, I want to get a solid running back. Like, I know J.K. Dobbins has potential and all, but like we need a high overall for this. Alvin Kamara. I feel like he would be perfect in this offense. A first-round draft pick. From next year, okay, so I I, I, I see you, I see you, say Dalvin Cook, like, I don't know, oh, God, I don't, like, why are these running backs so hard to get, is the 32nd overall pick that bad, like, an 80, an Austin Eckler, oh, he would be pretty tasty in this offense, and even that's declined, teams do not like that draft pick, yeah, we have to get rid of this too, we, like, are you serious, bro? Is there any running back we can swap? How about this straight up? 86 rated? See, they don't even want that. That's so weird. Normally, running backs are relatively easy to get, but hey, we'll get Austin Eckler eventually here. It might take a few tries because that's my luck in today's video, but this, not close. Did I already trade my second from next year? I didn't. Can we just get this to be accepted? It was. Thank you. They now need a right tackle. And I, I can't, I, the, I, I, the first guy I think of, and we're already here, I think this is literally like the 10th time we've got him, but who cares? Brian Bullock, I'm just throwing the second out there, getting that over with. We got ourselves the right tackle. Well, see, once again, every team need is offensive linemen, but that, I don't feel like that's really what our number one need is. We have wide receivers. Maybe it is. We, we need a center for sure. We need a center for sure. Didn't look too good there. Corey Lindsley, did we just get another Charger? But we already trade away like most of our really good draft picks. We do have a first from next year, but I really want to get rid of that. Like, do I really we have 54 seconds? Like, I might as well, right? I might as well get rid of that. 
and it's like, why is, why don't you like this pick? I guess we have to trade, we, we don't even get him for that, all right. Running back position, we'll probably have to sign up, uh, sign another free agent. Oh my god, bros, so let's, let's make sure we get a center, I guess I gotta keep looking. Ryan Kelly, I, I learned it today, the 32nd overall pick, it, it ain't, it ain't shit. Brandon Linder, 24 seconds to go. Fourth, first, submit. Was accepted, but at least we got him. I've already given up hope with this freaking trading. Like, it's already, it's, it, we're not going to get another trade to be accepted. At least we can get some free agents. I guess we get Mitchell Schwartz again. Because, like, I just want this team to be as good as possible. I just I just want a chance. I want to win this Super Bowl. Going to sign him. And let, let's just let's just be be greedy. Just be greedy. He's not the best too. Why not? I give up. Like really, my team went nine and seven. We've already seen them make it to the Super Bowl multiple times, and now that I'm using them and they're gonna make them better, they're not gonna make it. Let's just go all out. First thing we do, even if it's been the whole four minutes, let's get ourselves a good quarterback. Cause I I want a good quarterback. That's why. I want to try something though. Can we get Mahomes? Like, if we were to trade the first, second, and first from next year, like, what is Mahomes' value? Yeah, not even close. Get out of here. I guess he's impossible to get this year. Now, I guess he's always been impossible to get. Can we get a guy like Dak? How sick would Dak be in the Saints' offense? If we traded a first, like, it's probably, yeah, bro, they won't. They have five stars on Zach. So, on Zach, on Dak, that shows you where my mind is right now. Matt Ryan seems like he could be a good fit, potentially. But do you have a first rounder for him? I, I guess a first rounder is not enough. I really don't think we have, like, we can get a quarterback. I don't know who we could get because I, I'm not going to trade for somebody if, I mean, I guess we could try and get maybe a Matthew Stafford kind of type would be good for us. Like, will this even be accepted? That's even declined. So, running backs. Running backs. Find a team that has green interest in Latavius Murray. And of course, there are zero teams that have green interest in Latavius Murray. That's exactly how I planned it. Now, who, like, do we have anybody I want to trade away, maybe? Right in. Peyton Turner. Hey, you're a rookie. Somebody's got to want you because you're a rookie, right? We're already halfway through. This is horrible. So, we maybe what about even Kirk Cousins, dude? Even Kirk Cousins. That like I just gotta get a quarterback that's better than Jameis, unless there's somebody out there. Can we like swap QBs? Anybody? Green interest. I found it. I would even take Justin Fields. The Colts. Eagles? Like, oh my god. I really don't know what I can do. Panthers, they have Sam Darnold. So nobody has green interest in Jameis with the quarterback I'd be willing to swap. Can we at least swap, like, Justin Fields for Jameis? It's the I, I, I know how silly that is, but at this point, man, I really could care less. Oh, man, we're, like, we're already over halfway done. So, let's, let's, we're just throwing out draft picks. Just trying to get, like, the best players I possibly can think of. Like, a Khalil Mack kind of guy, can we bring him over? Maybe for the right price, potentially? Now, middle linebacker. I'm not going to tra trade away to Mario Davis. Any cornerbacks you want? Patrick Robinson? Oh man, I'm this one's been an absolute stinker. First round pick for maybe. Ooh, boys, I'm running out of ideas. I am already running out of ideas. Micah Hyde maybe first round pick? Decline, but maybe there's something in there. Who's our free? Oh, we have Marcus Williams. Why am I getting him? I could even trade away uh, CJ Gardner Johnson for maybe somebody good in return. Like is. Do I get Levante? Can I get Levante? How about we also try to get somebody else? Antonio Brown and Rob Gronkowski in this deal. Just curious. Just curious. I love it. I love it. We're going to ultimately get something, bros. We're going to get something. We added three quality players that's going to, I think, do something positive for us this season. Now, the only question, Latavius Murray, who can we have 20 seconds to get somebody for you? And I would literally take anybody at this point. Raheem Mostert, Eric Armstead. We need linebackers, though. We have 15 seconds. I think I just, I don't even need to make, I, I need to just try a swap deal or something. Trade accepted just like that. Okay, so that was simple. Nine seconds. Like, I can't get anybody, can I? Six seconds, five seconds. Uh, um, Alex Mack, two seconds. Submit it. I got it off. And it was accepted. That's what I talk about when I say I don't want to waste picks. 
I don't even know if we needed a center, but we have one now. And I'm just, you know what? I am signing the best two free agents until we win the Super Bowl. I'm probably going to do it for the rest of the video. I, I mean, it's an available tactic that I could use, and I'm going to abuse it. Like, there reaches a point where you're like, this is a joke, right? Problem here is the Steelers don't have an offensive line. We're literally pretty much getting offensive players like this entire rebuild because I have three teams left to do, and... I have three more chances to win the Super Bowl, or I have to give away the copy of Madden. Let's get Nick Chubb. Let's steal him for the Browns, just to make Browns fans absolutely tilt. 15th pick? Is this enough? Okay, we're, we're definitely bringing in Nick Chubb. We'll trade Benny Snell away. How about that? That gets you intrigued? We also throw in our backup QB, Dwayne Haskins. They have green interest? What, what the heck? All right, so the, I, I'll take that one. Uh, Benny Snell now added in. Was that was that enough? Declined, but I think we're, we're really about to get Nick Chubb. That's uh, that's crazy. Third round pick added in. Declined again. I really don't want to trade away both first, but this should be enough, right? Decline? Are you serious? So we are gonna have to get rid of both first round picks, but you know what? It's worth it for Nicholas Chubb. Now next, we're gonna trade away Najee. We're gonna keep Big Ben because it just costs too much. There's gotta be like cost too much to get a quarterback. That is, there, like Najee's a rookie. Why are there no teams that want him as a rookie? That's crazy. So I guess we move first player. I think of a wide receiver that could like he's gonna be our highest rated right off the bat. It's gonna be Cole Beasley. Our wide receiver core is pretty nasty, as in not good. Is <laughs> really not that good. I think a third should be enough to bring him in. Simple as you like. No, he's, we got to get the cheap. I'm really going to concentrate on this one. We're going to get the cheaper offensive lineman because I want to do whatever it takes to win this because I, I want to win this pretty pretty badly. Roger Saffold, we're looking at everybody on the Titans offensive line if I can. Nate Davis, too. Like if, I, I don't know what it will take for this to be accepted, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it be accepted. I, could say, I just want to see a second round pick. Okay. I mean, I, I, I'm glad I didn't put in two second round picks because it didn't take two second round picks. Now I need tackles. All right, so where can we get some cheap tackles at? Like, we might actually be able to build a pretty good team here. But who has a nice little cheap pair of tackles? The Broncos on the other side, Jawan James, like, I would take them. Like, they're better than what we have currently. I just don't know. A second from next year, too. Submit it. Accept it. All right, so we have a brand new offensive line. Uh-oh, backed out. Wasting time, wasting time. All right, back into things. Back into things here. We have a minute 30 left to go. Do I have any offensive linemen here now that I can trade away? I maybe actually didn't need it to get. I can trade away Dotson. I can trade away Nate Davis, actually. Anybody have green interest on either of these fellas? Okay, the Eagles do. We, we can get Fletcher Cox. Let's get Fletcher Cox. Let's do it work, please. Not even close. Like, uh, it sometimes just don't make sense. Darius Slay, though, straight up. Not accepted. But now if we throw in Nate Davis... They're sort of interested in him. It's declined, but maybe we can actually make this work if we throw in. I, what draft picks do we have left? In the fourth from next year? Is this enough to get Darius Slay? We really need a cornerback. I guess the third from next year, it'll do. Let's welcome Darius Slay to Pittsburgh. Now let's just get rid of Najee. I know every team wants Najee. So we throw him in there. Maybe just put in Mason Rudolph just for the memes. 30 seconds to go. We do need a defensive tackle. That's in one thing. I saw on defense that we really do need. We got to get somebody that fits. Kenny Clark? Like, I, I don't know. Dude, not even close. Going back to the Lions. Michael Brockers. Like, I would, I would take this. I would take this. It's declined. Throw it back in Mason Rudolph. We don't have much time. Six round pick. Submit this through. It's accepted. We have 10 seconds, but I, I mean, I guess we could try something. Like, fourth, fifth, sixth. We have seven seconds left. Get somebody like the first player is Darius Smith. I'm, it's not gonna go through, but it was worth the attempt. Well, he forgot to get to sign two players. Of course, we need a corner as well. Richard Sherman added back there with Darius Slay, and also we could use maybe somebody else in that second area. Just add, you know, veteran Earl Thomas. It's just the same two players over and over and over again. Like after you rebuild 29 teams, it just comes to a point where you just don't know what to say. We went 12 and four. Like we're building good teams but we just keep losing in the playoffs the football team could be really good as well if they have a high pick they have a very high pick i think this can be another shot where i want to try a little different here see if we can actually bring in russell wilson we haven't got him yet we have a high pick so it's a possibility it's declined 
Maybe instead we need to be smart and try to get Aaron Rodgers just because he's older might be a little bit he's still hard to get, but it'd be easier than what it would otherwise. So 95 rated Aaron Rodgers. It's declined again. But I do think if we throw in something like a Lamar Miller. What what am I what, like what, I'm not gonna get like I'm not gonna get Aaron Rodgers, am I? Okay, it actually went up more than what I thought. But they didn't want Ryan Fitzpatrick, so we'll try the third. I want to get out of here with not having to trade away both my first because they're going to be extremely vital later. I want to keep my second from this year, too. So a second from next year. We spent a minute, and we still didn't get Aaron Rodgers. Of course, that's just how things go around here. How about just the first and second from this year? It's declined, but now if we go in... Let, I'll trade JD McKissick. So what? 77? Okay, of course. Of course. How about Antonio Gibson instead? They want him. But just them two. Declined again. But now we actually get to save a draft pick, I think. So we're going to use our third. Just give me a break for once in my life. I know Aaron Rodgers is a big pickup and all, but we just wasted like two and a half minutes. We still have some big draft picks, though, that we can add to this squad. I want to add, like, some beasts. Like, I want to go right. I, wanna, I mean, Von Miller. I want to get him. Like, I feel like we'll be able to actually get multiple players from the Broncos if we use this pick. So, Lamar Miller. Let's also throw in a Kareem Jackson for the heck of it. And also, how about Melvin Gordon to be our running back? And that was accepted straight up. Dude, I love it when we do actually have a projected high draft pick. We'll get Mitchell Schwartz as well. I keep bumping my desk, dude. Gotta be better than that, RBT. Gotta be better. Gotta be a professional YouTuber. But I, I'm under too much pressure here. I, like two hours. Like this might be a three hour long video. I'm going after Dante Hightower because he's cheap. Like, that's, that's the only like that's the only logical reasoning behind this. So we can use just simply maybe even a fourth, a fifth, and a sixth, and this will be accepted. Welcome to the football team, Dante Hightower. All right, next. I, I actually don't know where we go from here. Like, Regine Cognito just popped up on my screen. That's nature telling me that this team is going to be a Super Bowl winner. Third round pick. Might actually be too much for Richie. Okay, actually it's not. All right. So a third, the 69th overall pick. Declined again. Why is Richard so hard to get second overall, like second round pick? Like, this will be accepted eventually, but it's kind of disappointing. Lamar Miller added in the deal. Will this make it go through? It's accepted. Thank you. I forgot about the fact that we have Ryan Fitzpatrick still, right? There's got to be one team that kind of wants them, or maybe not, actually. Okay, we're wasting time now. All right, let's move along here, boys. Who is one more superstar? I am curious. We, we still do have... Our wide, our wide receiver core, I, I know, is sick already. We do have that... Oh, we don't have that first pick from next year, do we? So, that just... I completely wasted time there, didn't I? So... But I don't even know where to go from here. I've already failed. Devin McCoury, though. Who do we have at free safety? We Do we have anybody? Bobby McCain? You know what? Let's see. Third, two thirds. We have two thirds for you, Devin McCoury. Declined. Oh, no. Oh, no. What can we get from you? Really quick. David Andrews, maybe? Matthew Judon? We do, we do need an outside linebacker. Can we get this in? The last second. Submit it through. It's accepted. Thank you. One final trade at the buzzer and you you guys already heard what i said i don't actually need to sign melvin ingram because we already have chase young in that position so it's not a big deal mitchell Swartz will be perfect at right tackle for us i think i'm gonna sign ourselves another cornerback we actually probably could use another guard we haven't got clichio samele yet i didn't even know he was down here so we'll get him and use him as our second and final free agent signing. I have never seen this matchup before. I swear to God, somebody in the comment section, please total up how many Super Bowls the Browns have been to in today's video. 11 and 5 division winners, 88 rated team, and still don't even make it to the Super Bowl. Seahawks might be our best bet yet. Now, we are going to add, like, a defensive tackle first thing. We're just going to add defense. I know defense is where this team was lacking last season. Definitely it has been letting them down, down the stretch. Chris Jones comes to mind first. He would be sick on that defensive line. They don't have a first-round pick, so that's already a horrible start. So, you know what? I kind of want to go the route just adding a bunch of good veterans that are cheap and, like, getting a bunch of them in one deal. Just, like, killing a bunch of birds with one stone. 
So a fine, very cheap option at defensive tackle here in a second, which I think Michael Brockers could be one. So we'll add him into the deal. We also need a left end. I, I, I don't know if I want you. Outside linebacker, anybody? Jamie Collins could be added potentially. Cornerback, we really don't have anybody I'm interested in there either. How about offensive line? Any older folk that I really think would like, give this team some bit of a boost? At left tackle, Taylor Decker maybe could fill some void for us. We're going to use our first from, we don't have a first from next year either. Serious? So do we try two, like, was one second good enough? Not quite. I don't even, I don't think two seconds is going to be good enough either. But our second from this year, is this good enough? Not quite either. Oh, wow. How about two seconds? This good enough? It's declined still. Who are they, like, they really like Taylor Decker, so maybe that's what's making this deal not be accepted. I think maybe if we just did a third from next year, we'd be able to get both these guys at least. Okay, that was a total lie. I think now we should at least get both these guys. Okay, like, what is, what's happened to this game? So, we'll try again. Third round pick from next year added in. It's declined again. Okay. So, running back position, Rashad Penny into the deal. Now we got, we just got two very mediocre players. I really don't know why I did that. I was really disappointed when I saw we didn't have many draft picks. So, old guys. We need a bunch of old men here. Derek Wolf, perfect. Perfect for what we need. Absolutely magnificent. Fourth and a fifth. Is that enough to persuade you? And it is that. That's great. That's actually fantastic. Maybe like the 80 range is what we need to look at. Like filling every need with like 80 rated players. And it should go by a lot smoother. Once again, I don't care. I've got them about five times today. We're going to get them again. We'll do a fourth, fourth, fifth from next year. An assortment of picks. Oh, that was even accepted. Tasty. I like it. All right, left guard now. Okay, let's actually go cornerback here. Let's go cornerback. Janoris Jenkins, you're, you're just right there, and I, I really feel like he's going to be like maybe even... Okay, we, we have so many late picks now. Okay, just kidding. It would work perfectly fine. All right, can we find an older center? Like, yes, we can. Like, when they just end up being the ones I'm, like, already on, that's when I know that's nature telling me, yes, make it happen. So also throw in... Oh, I need to find somebody that could be valuable to the Titans. Let's do a 72-rated cornerback. I, I, I have no clue. It's decline. Oh, no. So, instead of him, free safety, strong safety, Marquise Blair? Is that? No, that's not good, brothers. We have 30 seconds to go. I, I got old man. I got to find me an old man around here. I have an old man fetish. Brian Hansen, Rodney Hudson, why have I not seen you today, brother? How about you? Declined big time. We have 11 seconds left. I, I really, I, I don't know what I could like possibly even get here. Like, I'm just going to try to get him because he's there and it's declined anyway. But we do need to add, what are our, our big needs now? We need two offensive linemen. And maybe even another cornerback. Oh, well, actually, probably not, because they're all about average, and that's all we're going to add to it anyway. So once again, you know what we're doing. Mitchell Schwartz, welcome to Seattle. You're going to be coming to every team with us the rest of this video. I'm glad you're an available free agent. And David Castro, because as you saw, our offensive line has been awful. It is currently still awful. In real life, it is awful. Russell Wilson doesn't like it. Hopefully, he likes it enough now with what we've built. So at least finish the challenge for me. We'll make that time number 17. The Browns are in the Super Bowl in today's video. I don't know if that's actually the number. It really might be 25 for all I know. We went six and 10. This is the dumbest game. Yeah, dude, you see what team I'm using? Wish me luck. Imagine the Texans are the team that complete the challenge for me. I'm gonna keep this on for today's video's purpose. Tyrod Taylor, though. I know a lot of teams are going to be interested in you. Like, I, I don't know what to possibly even begin to start repairing this team. Like, I don't even know where to start. Like, I don't know what position to do. I don't know who to go after. It's just the team is so bad. Like, I'm trying to get... I'm trying to get literally every single position. Because that's the only way this team is going to do anything positive. Mario Davis for Tyrod Taylor. Oh, I love it, dude. I love it. After doing this so long... We don't, our draft picks are so bad too. This is a fat freaking walking elf. 
100%. Now, Davis Mills, okay, some teams want him. Seahawks really want him. Enough to give me, I would, that would be two middle linebackers I get, though. That would kind of just feel like it's defeating its own purpose. Tyler Lockett, potentially, it's declined. How about your left tackle, Dwayne Brown? No, he's 35. He could do something positive for us. But Quandre Diggs as well. If we try, okay, that's so much closer than what I really anticipated for this to be accepted. Like, do we also throw in like another 70 rated guy, like a Carlos Dunlap or Jordan Brooks, even? Young guy. So, Davis Mills, our backup quarterback. And we have a bunch of backup running backs we can trade away, too. Let's try this. Yeah, that's big time decline. So they, they actually really like Jordan Brooks. So instead of doing that, let's just take that out and here try to solidify the deal. Six round pick is accepted. Okay, so we're, we're making some we're, we're making some ground up here. So we're gonna have to need to go ahead and get, try to trade away our draft picks. So let's just try to go for the old guys, old average guys all around. Uh, let's go Eric Ebron for tight end. Let's let's find this somebody somebody let's try Turner even, and then Tyson. At defensive tackle. Like, is this going to be declined? It is. They really like Ebron more than what I thought they did. So we'll move here. We need left end. Did I already look at left end? Stephon to it. We need right tackle. They didn't have anybody I wanted either. Let's see, like, this is where things. Joe Hayden, maybe? How about this deal? Decline. Okay, I mean, I know that looks disgusting, but it works for what we're trying to do. Just average players everywhere, everywhere right now. Now, we have a ton of running backs that we can trade away. Mark Ingram, David Johnson. Like, obviously, I'd be willing to trade away any of these guys. 11 mil. Yeah, you're not going to get moved on. Nobody wants you. Wide receiver. Like, it's pretty disgusting, to be fair. Kiki Kuti. Any team wants you? Of course they don't. Let's just go ahead and try to tra trade away this first-round draft pick. You know, another three players in a deal or something. For our first, we might be able to, like, get something. Like, what? I'm not going to try Bobby Wagner. We already tried this deal with my Titans again. Like, is this where we just do the freaking Roger Saffold and Ben Jones thing again? I mean, why not? Like, who else? Jeffrey Simmons? Just let's try it. All right. So, uh, Jeffrey Simmons again. So, he, I, I mean, that's that's okay. All right. Not asking questions, boys. Sometimes it's better just not to ask questions. So all we really have left is two-thirds. Let's try to find one more little, like, cheap deal out there. So, it says we still need defensive tackle. Like, we could try... That's rough. Dalvin Thomason, maybe? We could use Anthony Barr, even? And then maybe Patrick Peterson, another cornerback? Try this. It's accepted as well, my dudes. Let's see, though. Like, can we trade Mark Ingram or Rex Burkhead to anybody out there? Like, not even, nobody even wants these running backs. That just shows you how, like, bad the Texans did this offseason. Falcons, like, can I get Alex Mack or somebody from you? Like, I, I, Deron Harmon? I'm just trying things here. That was accepted, so at least we got an extra player. But, like, we literally have a team of just average players, 77 rated. And watch them have, like, the best record of the entire video. I'm just going to sign the best two players because they still won't be good enough to bring us to a Super Bowl. Huh? That makes me more mad than happy. Like, that's the worst team I've built yet. Well, like, not that I've built, but there's already bad. I didn't even get anybody good. We went 13 and 3? Like, that makes no sense. Like, we'll probably lose to the Packers. Like, this would be our third win. Like, that would be so anticlimactic. That's not, that's not even the best team. What's our overall word? 83. It's still a good team, I guess. Maybe everybody got good throughout this season. Like, people progressed. I don't know. We're advancing. We're going to lose. I, this would complete the challenge, but I'm just not expecting it. Oh, my God. The Houston Texans. The Houston freaking Texans are the team to officially complete the challenge? Are you actually serious, bro? There's no way the Texans. The Texans are the third of final team i went the first super bowl then i went another one after like 10 tries and then it all comes down to the texans and the last teams the titans to do i thought maybe it'd be poetic if my favorite team the last team would do today the final team to route the challenge ended things off with the third and final super bowl but like not that i expect this maybe it's karma maybe it's karma like i feel like after recording this for like three and a half hours i'd be more excited but like I guess I am, but at the same time, it's just like, it's just silly anyway. At least I don't have to put all this pressure on myself with my favorite team. Like, if I can win the Super Bowl, that's great. Now, okay, I'm actually, this is so much easier, because I actually know what we need. We need a tight end. 
And the tight end, you know what? I mean, let's make this sort of realistic here. Because Zach Ertz has been rumored to be a little bit of trade bait. We can use him. Third rounder should be enough to get him, right? Secure the bag. We'll throw in also a little fifth. That's almost what it took to get freaking Julio. And we got Zach Ertz with it, barely. But I'll take that. Get ourselves you know, a reliable veteran tight end. Now, we also need a defensive tackle. And let's just get the best one out there. Fletcher Cox. Is he the best one? No, I, I, mean, like, I guess the highest overall may be defensive tackle. Is it a first that it takes to get Fletcher? Or it's not, it's more than a first. My God, bro. The trade logic is better, but it's just confusing sometimes. Like, things I think are going to work don't work. I mean, really, anybody would help out what we need. We have literally zero depth at defensive tackle. Brandon Williams. Okay, yeah. I, 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 you're just there. You're so easy to get. Four doesn't off. Yep. Welcome to Nashville. Next, let's raid the Browns again because we just know they're going to be the ones making it out of the AFC to the Super Bowl. Let's raid them a little bit at least. Let's go ahead and add ourselves... Could use a strong safety. Who's there? Ronnie Harrison? Like, I mean, that's... I guess it makes him a little weaker, but it's really not going to make our team much better. I mean, I guess he's higher overall than who we currently have, Amani Hooker. But it's an improvement. An improvement is an improvement. Brian Hill. I completely forgot we signed him. Why did we sign him? So we got Ronnie Harrison. I mean, I'll take it. Now, we do need a little bit of help at the cornerback position. I'd be willing to spend a little bit here. But the question is, really, what can we afford with the draft pick that we have? Because it's not a top draft pick. Like, I don't... Like, I, like, I want to try a second first, but at the same time, I'm wasting time. Okay, I'm glad I didn't use the first. That would have been awful. So, our corner... Like, what, who do we... Really quick, I, I don't want to waste too much time. But a cornerback, do we have... 8177. We could use Richard Sherman as a little overall boost to that position. Now I'm just trying to like figure out what do we even need to do here? Maybe get a better ride in over Danico Autry. Maybe that could be the plan. And then maybe right guard. Right guard. Let's try to make the team as good as possible. Screw it. Right guard. Right guard. Who can we get a right guard? So actually, since Roddy Hudson, we never we haven't got him today. I, uh, so I don't really know. I think we tried one trade, but maybe the trade was just kind of silly because maybe a second round draft pick from next year is it's not even close to enough to get them. So that's a good thing I didn't waste my time in this entire recording session to try and get them. So we move. Broncos, Graham Glasgow. We need, I, I, to be like worth my time, I think we need an 85 plus or so, at least an 82 plus or so. Abe Jackson, maybe we go back to Brandon. Like, nice little, nice little right guard. It's going to take a first, though, to get him. Maybe not even just the first. We'll try it, though. Decline. Is it really worth both firsts? It's at the point where, like, I don't want to waste my draft picks. We have 40 seconds left to go. Let's just get the position that we need to upgrade. Now, we could, hopefully here, maybe finish off by adding a defensive lineman. Cameron Jordan would be great. Other side of Jeffrey Simmons. So, a second rounder from next year. I don't, I don't know if this is enough. Yeah, not close. So we're going to have to compile something tasty here. Maybe one of our Marcus Johnson, 15 seconds to go, declined again. I don't think we, if we can maybe trade to Nico Autry in return, if they were interested, they're not interested. Yep, dude, I don't think we're going to get anything. Maybe we get Bobby Wagner last second. That'd be nice. Not quite. I'll take it. Like, we got some good players. I don't have any stress on me here. I will take the free agents that I want to. I will take... You know what? Instead of Mitchell Schwartz this time, since we have a young rookie there, we'll, we'll take Melvin Ingram, a guy I feel like I wish we could have signed in real life. But also, Richard Sherman, we don't need another corner, I don't think, in real life. We have young guys that we need to have, you know... That I think are going to eventually prove themselves and be a quality corners. But just for this simulation's purpose, we are going to get Richard Sherman and together to end off the longest video in the history of the channel. We're going to get that freaking zero off your screen and we're going to put that dramatic music in the background and we're going to end things off in poetic fashion. Even though we've already completed the challenge somehow, fluky with the Texans, I want to end things off. After three and a half, almost four hours of recording with a Super Bowl win, the first ever Super Bowl win from my favorite team. Oh, who would have freaking thought? Like, this is stupid. Like, it's not even funny anymore. It's not even a meme anymore. It's just stupid.